Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. My Medicine Cauldron can automatically pill refining. Chapter 21. After Xu Yufan left the Mission Great Hall, he went straight to the Hall of Miscellaneous Affairs. I spent a piece of low-grade spirit stones to reissue a nameplate. I wanted to go to Lin Dekong to ask about talent supernatural powers and about Zhou Guangzong. But thinking that the other party wanted to attack the Foundation Establishment realm with closed-door training, he dismissed the idea. Xu Yufan didn't go back to the Immortal Cave, but directly swept outside. He received the sect task of hunting the white ape to get the guts, and there was nothing to do in sect, so Xu Yufan simply rushed to Xuanyuan Temple to hunt the white ape. There is a mission record on the nameplate, which shows the status of the mission. The disciples guarding the mountain and patrolling see this, and dare not stop it. Xu Yufan left the mountain gate smoothly all the way. There is a guiding function on the nameplate, which is similar to the navigation on the earth. Xu Yufan doesn't have to worry about not being able to find his destination. Holding the nameplate in his hand, with the magic power running in his body, Xu Yufan suddenly felt the wind under his feet, and hurried forward following the guidance of the nameplate. Dot dot dot. Two days later, on the outskirts of the demonic beast's mountain range, there is a small slope with low and sparse trees, weeds and stones. A gray and white ape sat on a rock, looking around as if looking for something. Suddenly, several golden lightsabers burst out from behind a tree a few meters away. The golden sword ray attacked the white ape on the boulder at an extremely fast speed. Roar, the white ape let out a roar, obviously sensing the danger, and jumped up high, trying to escape. No sooner had the white ape's feet left the boulder than the golden sword ray had arrived. PFF, the golden sword ray passed through the body of the white ape, bringing out a flower of blood. Roar, the white ape let out a miserable roar, lost the strength to follow up, and fell hard on the weeds. After about a minute and a half, a gray figure jumped out from behind the tree and rushed towards the white ape corpse. The gray figure is exactly Xu Yufan from Qianyuanzong. Xu Yufan was sure that the white ape was dead, so he took out the iron sword from the storage bag, squatted down, and took out the inner gut of the white ape after a short operation. Ha! Finally gathered all ten white ape guts. Xu Yufan let out a long breath. After squatting for a long time, ten white apes were slaughtered and ten inner bladders were obtained. The strength of Bai Yuan is not strong, which is equivalent to the fourth floor of the Qi refining period. Facing Xu Yufan, the cultivator at the peak of the sixth level of Qi refining, plus. It is basically powerless to resist the nameless sword art. Originally, White Ape's strength was weaker than Xu Yufan's. If this guy didn't talk about martial arts, and directly engaged in sneak attacks, he would be even more powerless to resist. It can be seen from the side that Xu Yufan is an old yin ratio. After collecting the White Ape Nidan, Xu Yufan is ready to return to Qianyuanzong. At this moment, a roar sounded. Oh who? Xu Yufan's face changed, this call was not like that of an ordinary white ape. Moreover, judging by the loudness of the sound, the distance is not far, it is nearby. Thinking of a creature stronger than the white ape, Xu Yufan thought for a while, and instead of running away immediately, he was going to check it out to gain knowledge. But for safety, Xu Yufan still decided to hide. With a twist of Zhou's power, his figure flashed, and he quickly swept to the back of a low thorn forest. Sure enough, after about a few minutes, a heavy panting sound approached with a sound of trampling the ground. Chi, chi, chi. Xu Yufan, who was hiding in the thorn forest, frowned tightly. Hearing the sound, the biological power was definitely very strong. As the sound of stomping and panting became louder, Xu Yufan knew that the unknown creature was approaching. Xu Yufan poked his head out slowly with curiosity, and took a sneak peek. I saw a pure white ape about three meters high appearing next to the body of the white ape that he killed himself just now. White ape, Xu Yufan was puzzled. This white ape is somewhat different from ordinary white apes. Other ordinary white apes have white and gray fur all over their bodies, and their height is only over two meters. But the ape that just appeared was three meters tall, its fur was as white as snow, and the most unusual thing was that it had a golden horn on its forehead. After observing, Xu Yufan had a thought in his heart. This is, an upgraded white ape. The aura of the white ape was very strong, Xu Yufan felt that his strength was not as good as the ape, and was afraid of being discovered by the ape, so he held his breath involuntarily and hid himself deeper. Brother, 
the breath of the upgraded white ape is ahead, let's go over quickly, lest it escape again. However, a rough voice sounded from Xu Yufan's back. Xu Yufan was startled, this is attacking from front to back, from both sides. No, I have to hide. With a thought, Xu Yufan disappeared and hid in the manor. Half a minute after Xu Yufan entered the manor, two Taoist figures jumped quickly from the bushes behind Lin Fei. These two figures are one tall and one short. The tall ones are strong and the short ones are thin. Both of them were wearing black clothes, about 30 years old, and their faces were extremely ugly. The two stopped at the bramble forest where Xu Yufan had hidden before, and stared at the white ape not far away. Brother, I saw it, that beast is right ahead. The tall middle-aged man spoke out first, with a look of joy on his face. Junior brother, keep your voice down, and check the situation first. The short and thin senior brother stopped the tall and strong senior brother from rushing forward. As soon as he stretched out his hand, a three-meter-long rope appeared in his hand. Inside the manor, Xu Yufan perceives everything outside through spiritual sense. Coincidentally, these two people were within two and a half meters of Xu Yufan when he entered the manor, allowing Xu Yufan to see their faces clearly at a glance. Ah, two ugly punks. Xu Yufan had sensed it before and came to a conclusion. The white ape in the distance seemed to sense the aura of the two of them, turned its huge head around, and looked at the thorny forest with blazing eyes. Ah, senior brother, what are you afraid of? Just go out and kill that beast. We two who are at the 10th level of qi refining are still afraid of a beast at the 10th level of qi refining. Senior brother Gao Zhuang asked in bewilderment. Obviously, this senior student Gao Zhuang is not very smart, not smart enough. However, as soon as senior brother Gao Zhuang finished speaking, the white ape over there obviously noticed it, and turned around slowly, as if about to rush over. Idiot, the short and thin senior brother scolded angrily, and really regretted bringing this foolish senior brother out. In just this moment, the white ape let out a roar, bent its legs and kicked, its huge body jumped high, and landed in front of the two ugly brothers with a vertical leap. The short and thin senior brother's face changed drastically, it's ugly, the power displayed by this white ape's jump is not what ordinary 10th level chi refining has. With a flick of the long rope in his hand, he made a gesture of confrontation. Although junior brother Gao Zhuang is a bit out of his wits, he looks ugly. But as a cultivator of the 10th level of chi refining, the reaction is still very quick. He slapped the storage bag on his waist, and a huge axe appeared in his hand out of thin air. Hold it tightly and place it across your chest, also preparing for battle. Ah, the white ape hammered his chest with both arms, raised his head to the sky and let out a loud roar, bent over and used his hands and feet, and rushed towards the tall and strong senior brother and the short and thin senior brother at an extremely fast speed. Be careful, this beast is very powerful, don't go head to head with it. The short and thin senior brother leapt to the side, but with a flick of the rope in his hand, he slammed towards the white ape viciously. And the tall and strong senior brother didn't listen to the short and thin senior brother at all, he raised his giant axe high, his body rioted, and he rushed towards the white ape, pretending to be tough with the white ape. A man and an ape collided with each other in the blink of an eye, the huge axe slashed down, the white ape nimbly charged, dodged sideways, and punched it head on. Junior brother Gao Zhuang smashed the ground with an axe, his reaction speed was not as fast as that of the white ape, but he was hit by the white ape's punch, and his tall body flew upside down like a violent bomb. Idiot, seeing this, the short and thin senior brother scolded angrily, how can a human being be tough with an animal? My junior brother is simply stupid. The white ape wanted to give chase, but the short and thin brother's rope had already arrived. The white ape nimbly lowered his head to snatch the rope from the short and thin senior brother, instead of chasing the tall and strong senior brother, he turned his head and jumped towards the short and thin senior brother. Seeing the huge palms of the white ape slap down from the air, the short and thin junior didn't panic. With a flick of his wrist, the rope suddenly became longer and swam like a spirit snake in the air. With a turn, it entangled towards the feet of the white ape. Regardless of Bai Yuan's concern, he still slapped his palms hard. Isn't this defensive? The short and thin senior brother was frightened by the white ape's fighting style of living to death. He didn't want to die together, and he wanted to marry his junior sister for the foundation establishment. The short and thin brother gave up on the legs of the white ape. Drink, 
With a loud shout, the rope in his hand changed again, and began to wander and intertwine. But in an instant, a huge net was formed and blocked in front of him. Roar! The white ape let out a roar, and slapped his palms fiercely on the rope net. Boom! A ripple emanated from the intersection of the two and spread to the surroundings, and the vegetation was shattered wherever it passed. And the huge net shook suddenly as if it had been hit at a key point, and then burst open directly, breaking into thousands of pieces. Ah, the short and thin senior brother was shocked, he didn't expect this white ape to be so powerful, and he couldn't beat him. The white ape shattered the giant net without losing strength, and slapped the short and thin brother on the head. I, the short and thin senior brother was so frightened that his liver and gallbladder were torn apart, he just rolled on a donkey, avoiding the fatal blow of the white ape. Brother, are you okay? The short and thin senior brother straightened up like a carp, stood up, and shouted to the tall and strong senior brother ten meters away. Ah, I can't stand it alone, I have to see if the younger brother is dead, if he is dead, let's run away immediately. The short and thin brother muttered in his heart. Hearing his senior brother shouting, Gao Zhuang didn't pretend to be dead anymore, got up and coughed a few times. Ahem, senior brother, this white ape is too powerful, I need to use a secret technique, help me hold this beast back. The short and thin senior brother was overjoyed when he heard that the junior brother was going to use the secret technique, this time he could crush the white ape. He knows the secret technique of junior brother Gao Zhuang, it is an ancient secret technique, obtained by junior brother Gao Zhuang by chance, after using it, his strength and defense can be multiplied. All right, don't worry, junior brother, I'll hold it back. After finishing speaking, he tossed the half of the rope left in his hand, and slapped the storage bag on his waist, and another identical rope appeared in his hand. Bring it on. The short and thin senior brother shook the rope in his hand, and the rope immediately turned into dozens of similar ropes and tied them towards the white ape. There was a look of disdain in the white ape's eyes, he ignored the dozen or so ropes tied up, and went straight to the short and thin senior brother. The short and thin senior brother showed horror in his eyes, he couldn't believe that this white ape was so powerful, he saw through the own move in one go. This white ape thought well, even if he was tied up with a rope, as long as he killed the short and thin senior brother, everything would be solved easily. Seeing that the giant fist of the white ape was about to hit him, the short and thin senior brother quickly slapped the storage bag on his waist again, and a golden talisman appeared in his hand. The short and thin senior brother poured magic power into the golden talisman, and then patted Own on the chest. Hey, it turned out to be a magic talisman. Xu Yufan quietly in the thorn forest. Xu Yufan observed in the manner that the white ape was far away from the tall, strong, thin and short brothers, out of his divine sense range, so he sneaked out out of curiosity. Come, he already had a plan in mind, if he was discovered, he would immediately hide in the mysterious space. Fortunately, Xu Yufan was lucky, the white ape and the short and thin brother had already hit tens of meters away. And junior brother Gao Zhuang is dancing the great god on the other side. Crouching down, Restraining his own breath, Xu Yufan watched the battle between the white ape and the short and thin senior brother. Boom, a bang, the giant palm of the white ape slapped the short and thin senior brother, but the magic talisman attached to the short and thin senior brother's chest worked. A light blue mask blocked the attack of the white ape. Ha, huh, this talisman is so strong. Xu Yufan was surprised, the seemingly powerful blow of the white ape was easily blocked by the magic talisman. At the same time, the dozen or so ropes had all approached the white ape and tied it up very easily. Hey, beast, do you know what kind of talisman I am? The short and thin brother asked mockingly. Roar. Naturally, the white ape couldn't speak, and what responded to him was a roar. Xu Yufan watched helplessly, he wanted to know, but couldn't ask. Although he learned about the general situation of cultivation world through the comprehension Daquan sent to him by the same door, he didn't go into details about the details. Vajra talisman, that can withstand a full blow from the foundation establishment realm late stage. You white ape, just tenth level of chi refining, don't think about breaking through this Vajra talisman. Quote. The short and thin senior brother said it as if showing off. Hearing Shu Yu fan's saliva splashing, Resisting a full blow from the foundation establishment realm late stage, it is really a life-saving treasure. The white ape didn't understand, or rather didn't understand, it just wanted to break free from the rope that bound it, and slap the monkey in front of it to death. 
Oh, it's a human being. The white ape kicked his feet and exerted all his strength, but the rope was made of rubber bands, so no matter how hard the white ape tried, it would be of no avail. Although the rope bound the white ape, it couldn't completely restrict its activities. The short and thin senior brother is obviously a supporting role, lacking in attack methods and insufficient attack power, a proper tool to provide control. One ape and one man, each can't do anything to the other, it's barely a tie. At this time, senior brother Gao Zhuang, who was performing the secret technique there, finally completed his transformation. The person looks unchanged, the size is the same, the height is the same, but the breath is stronger than before. Let's do it again and see who is tough. Junior brother Gao Zhuang threw the huge axe in his hand, with a look of excitement on his face, he rushed towards the white ape at a speed invisible to the naked eye. This Gao Zhuang junior brother is quite good at martial arts, when seeing Bai Yuan empty-handed, he also empty-handed. Ah, a hint of sarcasm flashed in the white ape's eyes, as if to say, the ridiculous human being was slapped flying just now, and almost died on the spot. It is simply a dream to want to come back now. Junior brother Gao Zhuang rushed up to the white ape, stomped on the ground with one foot, and with a deafening sound, waved his fists and slammed towards the white ape viciously. The white ape did not back down, grasped his fists with both hands, and went forward with all his strength. Boom, the four fists intersect, and there is a loud noise. Bai Yuan felt his fists hit the half-meter thick iron plate, his whole body trembled, his blood churned. What? Junior brother Gao Zhuang let out a roar that overwhelmed the white ape, his arms swelled visibly, and a stronger and stronger force swept the audience. Junior brother Gao Zhuang's face was flushed, and his fists felt as if they had entered an uninhabited area. They directly blasted the white ape to the ground, creating a huge crater half a meter deep. Puff, the white ape spat out a mouthful of blood, and his human-like eyes showed disbelief. It was defeated, the strongest blow was defeated so thoroughly, not only the bones in both arms were shattered, but even the five internal organs in the body were about to be shaken to the point of cracks. Junior brother Gao Zhuang was extremely majestic at the moment, standing on top of a stone-like god of war, posing in a posture that he thought he was mighty but was actually an idiot. Brother, I'll leave it to you. Junior brother Gao Zhuang spoke, and just as he finished speaking, he fell to the ground with a plop. The blow just now had consumed all the magic power in his body, and now junior brother Gao Zhuang has entered a state of exhaustion of magic power. This is the sequelae of using that ancient secret. His strength skyrocketed in a short period of time, but he could only deliver the strongest blow. After the fight, it will definitely enter a period of weakness, um. It can also be said that the cooling time is up, and you can't do it anymore. Okay, brother, don't worry, the next step is to see the brother. The short and thin senior brother responded heartily. Seeing that the white ape had suffered a huge and serious injury, the short and thin senior brother was very happy. Just now I was killed by a white ape. I beat him hard, if it wasn't for the Vajra talisman, I'm afraid it would all be a puddle of mud. Now seeing the white ape lying in the pit and being controlled by own ropes, how could this once in a lifetime opportunity let it slip away in vain? I saw the short and thin senior brother pull the long rope in his hand, lift up the white ape, and then press it down again. The seriously injured white ape once again had a close contact with the weedy field. Ah, a dull and miserable cry came, and the white ape let out a miserable cry. You ruined one of my ropes, I will draw your scriptures to make a new one. The short and thin senior brother said resentfully. Xu Yufan watched from the bush without moving. At this time, the white ape was lying on the ground, with its head facing the thorny forest. The huge eyeball stared at the thorn forest. Xu Yufan's heart trembled, is this white ape looking at me? Could it be that I was discovered by this beast? Just as Xu Yufan expected, the huge eyes of the white ape showed a begging expression, as if asking Xu Yufan for help. What a spiritual white ape, but unfortunately I am weak and powerless. Xu Yufan sighed in his heart and the short and thin senior brother shook the rope in his hand, and the dozens of ropes that bound the white ape immediately merged into one and pulled towards the thorn forest. Nani, found out, Xu Yufan's reaction was also very quick, and he reacted immediately. His body was violent, and he jumped up and jumped to the left. The short and thin senior brother took time out of the attack, and said with a gloomy face, Oh, the reaction is not bad, hee hee, a kid at the fifth level of Qi refining dares to peep. 
Xu Yu Fan stood still and waved his hands. This fellow Taoist, everything is a misunderstanding, I'm just passing by. Passing by, he he, don't think I'm being foolish, you've been there for a while. The short and thin senior brother sneered, twitched the rope, and threw it at Xu Yu Fan again. Xu Yu Fan didn't dare to be careless, the magic power in his body was running, he raised his hand, and five golden sword rays came out of his hand, shooting towards the short and thin senior brother. At the same time, he jumped quickly, avoiding the rope of the short and thin brother. Relying on the defense of the Vajra talisman, the short and thin brother resisted Xu Yu Fan's golden sword ray without dodging or dodging. Ku. Dot Ku. With a crisp sound, the golden sword ray couldn't break the Vajra talisman at all. Boy, not bad. See Xu Yu Fan yet another. The short and thin senior brother showed a look of surprise after easily dodging the own rope for the first time. This fellow Taoist, I am a disciple of Qianyuan sect. If you have anything to say, why bother to do it? Knowing that he was no match for the opponent, Xu Yu Fan immediately moved out of Qianyuanzong. In the entire continent, Qianyuanzong is an insignificant sect, but in this area, it still has a certain deterrent force. Hearing Xu Yu Fan's self introduction, the short and thin senior brother was not only not afraid, but even more excited. A disciple of Qianyuanzong, he he, there should be a lot of treasures in the storage bag, spirit stones. The implication is that they want to kill people and get more goods. Ah, I met a desperado. Xu Yu Fan groaned in his heart, complaining, isn't he the emperor of Europe? Why is luck so bad? Boy, leave the storage bag, I can consider making your death easier. The short and thin senior brother had a posture of affirming Xu Yu Fan. Indeed, the fifth level of qi refining is against the tenth level of qi refining, what can be used to fight? I'll keep your mother. Xu Yu Fan threw out dozens of golden sword rays with both hands, and hit the short and thin senior brother, while he turned around and ran away. Run away first. Want to run? Can you run? The short and thin senior brother smiled contemptuously, disregarding the dozens of golden lights flying towards him, and flung out the long rope in his hand towards Xu Yu Fan's back. From the corner of Xu Yu Fan's eyes, the afterglow saw that Own's strongest blow did not affect the Vajra talisman, and his heart sank. Moreover, the short and thin brother's rope was extremely fast, and he reached his back in the blink of an eye. Xu Yu Fan showed a helpless look on his face, it seemed that he was about to hide in the mysterious space again. Um, at this moment, a tall figure appeared behind Xu Yu Fan, grabbed the rope drawn by the short and thin senior brother. White Ape Xu Yu Fan looked in surprise at the tall figure who blocked the blow for him. Ah, with a long howl, the white ape pulled hard, and the rope suddenly stretched straight. This rope is the only offensive weapon of the short and thin brother, so he is not willing to let it go easily. Joe movement technique runs hard and pulls back. One man and one ape, like a tug of war, pulling each other in opposite directions. It's just that although the rope is a low-level magical item, the workmanship of the material is obviously not good enough, and it cannot withstand the strength of a man and an ape. Boom! With a loud noise, the rope suddenly shattered. Xu Yu Fan didn't hide back in the mysterious space anymore. With this white ape, at least there is no danger for now. Now that the rope was broken, Xu Yu Fan felt more relieved. At this moment, the white ape obviously didn't want to give up, it raised its head to the sky and let out an angry roar, kicked its legs regardless of its own injuries, and ruthlessly rushed towards the short and thin senior brother. Bai Yuan knew in his heart that if he didn't get rid of this ugly dwarf, he would have absolutely no hope of living. The short and thin senior brother lost the rope, and panic appeared in his eyes. Before he could take any action, he suddenly smelled a gust of wind blowing towards his face, and then a huge black shadow descended from the sky. He was startled suddenly, and looked up, only to see two huge palms constantly enlarged in front of his eyes. What? With a scream, the short and thin senior brother couldn't dodge in time. Although he is at the tenth level of qi refining, his combat power is extremely poor. Facing the attack method of Bai Yueni, who is good at strength, he is basically the one who is instantly killed. The short and thin brother was covered with a Vajra talisman. He was not smashed into a flesh by the white ape, but his whole body sank into the mud. Although he was not injured, he was still dazed by the external force. Before he could recover, his whole body was picked up by the white ape and smashed like a sandbag. 
For a moment, the entire periphery of Xuanyuan Temple was filled with the sound of, bang bang, hitting the ground. About half a minute later, the short and thin senior brother bled from his seven orifices, his breath weakened, and even the halo of the Vajra talisman dimmed a lot. Xu Yufan knew that this thing was going to be over. Turning his head to look at the white ape, he saw that he was also covered in blood, with blood dripping from the corners of his mouth and nostrils. It seems that this white ape is also at the end of its strength, just returning to the light. The white ape held the short and thin senior brother's feet with both hands, and slammed towards a huge boulder. Boulders shattered and small stones flew everywhere. The last halo of the Vajra talisman disappeared, and the short and thin senior brother was completely unrecognizable at this time, with blood and flesh splattered, only a pair of short legs remained intact. The white ape didn't stop there, but directly grabbed a leg with one hand and dismembered the corpse. Seeing such a brutal scene, Xu Yufan was terrified, and couldn't help looking up and down at his body. Animals just love to tear people apart with their bare hands. Brother, Brother Gao Zhuang, who was squatting on the ground, saw this and let out a cry of grief. It's just that the magic power in his body is exhausted now. Ben couldn't do much. The white ape turned to look at junior brother Gao Zhuang, roared, threw away the stump in his hand, jumped, and trampled junior brother Gao Zhuang into a pulp. After slaughtering the two enemies, the white ape statue completed its final mission, its last bit of strength was exhausted, and its huge body crashed to the ground. Xu Yufan was stunned, am I picking on the loophole? Sit back and reap the benefits. Xu Yufan didn't leave, and waited for a while. Seeing that the white ape didn't show any intention of getting up, he turned on his magic power and jumped up to the white ape. At this time, the white ape was out of spirits, his breath was dying, and he looked like he was about to die. The white ape's huge eyes glanced at Xu Yufan, revealing a strange expression. Hey, let's see what I'm good for, I can't save you. Xu Yufan sighed inwardly. Ah, wait, there seems to be hope. With a thought, Xu Yufan disappeared out of thin air. The eyes of the white ape, which were about to close, lit up, it was very surprised. It's just a flash, without any follow-up vitality. It will die. Just when the consciousness was about to dissipate, Xu Yufan appeared. Hold on. Xu Yufan said something, then squatted down, and stretched out his hand to press the white monkey's forehead. Probably. As soon as the words fell, Xu Yufan disappeared in place together with the white ape. In the blink of an eye, Xu Yufan appeared in the mysterious space with the white ape. Ah, I should be able to survive. Xu Yufan felt the breath of the white ape like a gossamer, and muttered in a low voice. When Xu Yufan was practicing wuming Jianju, he accidentally cut his hand once, and unexpectedly found that the recovery ability of mysterious space was nearly twice as fast as that of the outside world. According to his guess, the white ape's injury can also be healed faster in the mysterious space. As for why he saved the white ape, Xu Yufan didn't know why, he always felt that he was destined for the white ape. A demonic beast who was at the top of the tenth level of qi refining, died in front of his eyes, and he must feel sorry in his heart. Of course, Xu Yufan still has a little thought. Compared with humans, demonic beasts are the same realm, and demonic beasts are undoubtedly stronger. Such a demonic beast's at the top of the tenth level of qi refining, if subdued and brought with him, will directly have a big helper, and when they return to Qianyuanzong, they will also have the power to protect themselves against Wang Tiana, Zhou Guangzong and others. Seeing the white ape looking at own, Xu Yufan felt that the white ape was not a wolf-hearted demonic beast. But one, demonic beasts who only understand human nature and understand gratitude. If I saved it myself, I would definitely repay it, ah, at least I wouldn't turn around and kill myself. Even if it is the worst outcome, Xu Yufan is not afraid to kill himself when the white ape king wakes up, because he is the master in this mysterious space. Of course, it doesn't matter whether you repay him or not, the most important thing is that Xu Yufan is a kind person, and he can't just leave him dead. Hey hey, Xu Yufan carried the dying white ape and put it in a corner. He took out a qi refining pill and stuffed it into the mouth of the white ape king. The spirit mouse on the other side watched curiously. Little guy, take care of this white ape king for me, don't scratch and bite it. The spirit-seeking mouse rolled its eyes a few times, and nodded its little head twice. Xu Yufan smiled, he really is a demonic beast whose IQ is no lower than that of humans. 
Xu Yufan went to the medicine garden to look again, and found that other medicinal herbs such as lingya grass were full of vitality, and there was no sign of withering at all. Hey, does this mysterious space have the function of boosting spiritual herbs? Xu Yufan observed the lingya grass closely and found that the leaves of the two lingya grasses were obviously darker green than when they were planted in the morning. This shows that they have grown quite a bit over the years. Although Xu Yufan can't determine the exact year, but at least not less than 10 years. You know, the age of the spirit bud grass he bought is about two years old. The number of years has increased by five times in two days, which is incredible. Xu Yufan thought that the scene of the battle outside had not been dealt with, so he planned to go back to Qianyuanzong to investigate further, and now he should leave the periphery of Xuanyuan Temple as soon as possible. Xu Yufan left the mysterious space with a shocked heart. At this time, the surrounding area of Xuanyuan Temple was in a mess, the smell of blood permeated the air, and the roar of demonic beasts could be heard from time to time in the distance. The fight here has drawn the attention of various demonic beasts nearby. Xu Yufan now cultivation base is not enough to turn corpses into dust. At least until the foundation establishment period, with the innate real fire, the corpse can be burned to ashes. Xu Yufan searched the ground, picked up the storage bags of the tall and thin senior brother, and was about to leave when he saw a golden talisman paper on a stump of the short and thin senior brother. Xu Yufan was overjoyed, it turned out that the Vajra talisman was not destroyed by the white ape. Quickly put the Vajra talisman into the storage bag, took out his own nameplate, took a look, Xu Yufan magic power was running, and jumped in the direction of Qian Yuanzong. Qian Yuanzong, Zhou Guangzong sat on a stone bench, holding a small porcelain bottle in his hand, and looked coldly at Wang Tiana standing in front of him. You said that kid went out to do a mission. His tone was cold, and he seemed extremely dissatisfied. Wang Tiana trembled in his heart, looked at Zhou Guangzong with some fear, and said submissively. Senior brother Zhou, I asked, he accepted the task of the inner gall of the white ape. I left sect three days ago, I guess I should go to Zan Yuan Temple. Quote. Boom. The small porcelain bottles in Zhou Guangzong's hand turned into pieces and fell one after another. He didn't seem to notice it at all, frowned and said nothing. After a long time, he opened his hand, and there were five small white pills in his palm besides the fragments of the porcelain bottle. Throwing the small white pill to Wang Tiana, he said in a serious tone. Go, kill him. Wang Tiana took the small white pill and bowed away. Dot dot dot. A day later, in a forest about a hundred miles away from Qianyuanzong. Xu Yufan stood on the branch, looked at it for a while, and murmured. Just here, the location is good, there are no demonic beasts nearby, don't worry about being in danger when you come out. After finishing speaking, he waited for a while to make sure that there was no one nearby, and then entered the mysterious space. Xu Yufan glanced at the white ape king in the corner, and saw that most of his injuries had recovered, but he still didn't wake up for some reason. Although he was not awake, his vitality was exuberant, not the slightest bit dead. Not only that, the sleeping white ape king would occasionally emit a frightening aura, Xu Yufan could clearly feel that coercion as soon as he entered the mysterious space. Fortunately, Xu Yufan is the master here, and this coercion cannot affect him. The fluctuation of spiritual qi in the mysterious space is also extremely strange, a little different from usual, most of the spiritual qi rushed towards the white ape king. Xu Yufan observed for a while, and saw that the white ape king showed no signs of waking up. Dot. After getting along with each other for a few days, the spirit mouse was obviously not that afraid of Xu Yufan. When he saw Xu Yufan appearing, he ran over and screamed a few times. It seemed to be saying, Look, I took such good care of the white ape king. Xu Yufan smiled knowingly, and stretched out his hand to touch the spirit mouse's fur a few times as encouragement. The mysterious space is a little different at this time. Xu Yufan got a lot of wood from outside and built a simple wooden house. Completely cover the black medicinal cauldron inside. Xu Yufan also named the small wooden house, Pill Refining Room. I also got a few very huge stones and piled them in the corner for the mouse to jump up and down. There is also a rough table and two stools in the mysterious space. This was all made by Xu Yufan with a condensed golden sword. The medicine garden is also surrounded by wooden fences, and the entire mysterious space has become a mini manor. 
Xu Yu Fan came to the side of the medicine garden, and the color of the bud grass and other medicinal herbs planted in it was darker than that of a day ago, and the age has broken through to thirty years. Some of the medicinal herbs have flowered and produced seeds. Xu Yu Fan was overjoyed. According to this situation, he could cultivate medicinal herbs and spiritual herbs in the mysterious space. The materials for the qi refining pill will not need to be purchased in the future, so that not only can he save a lot of spirit stones, but he can even sell them to earn spirit stones. Not to mention other things, just the spirit bud grass, more than 50 years old, one plant can sell at least dozens of low-grade spirit stones. Just as Xu Yufan was looking forward to the future, a roar full of energy came from the corner. Ah, the voice sounded very familiar, as if venting, or declaring something. When Xu Yufan heard it, it was the voice of the White Ape King. He turned his head and looked, and saw that the spiritual qi wave on the side of the White Ape King was even more spectacular, and the wave of spiritual qi could be seen with the naked eye. The corner where the White Ape King was lying happened to be blocked by the small wooden house he built, so he couldn't see clearly what happened for a while. Xu Yufan frowned, the White Ape King was definitely awake. I don't know if it's roaring, is it mad or for other reasons? If the White Ape King is hostile to him and wants to strangle him, then he can only kill it cruelly. Xu Yufan stood up and walked towards the White Ape King. The howling of the White Ape continued. Xu Yufan is not afraid, in the mysterious space, he is the master, a single thought can kill a person. After walking a few steps, the howling of the White Ape King finally stopped. Xu Yufan dodged and came one meter away from the White Ape King. Looking at the White Ape King, the White Ape King has already woken up. It is sitting on the ground in a meditation posture. Xu Yufan frowned, and was about to ask aloud when he. Hearing a blunt voice enter the ear. Engong, I'm the White Ape King. I just broke through now and need a little time to consolidate the realm. I can't get up to thank you. Please forgive me. The tone of the White Ape King's tone was a bit strange, like that of a child who just learned to speak. White Ape King, sound transmission. Xu Yufan stopped the urge to speak. Wait, it said breakthrough, this White Ape King has reached the foundation establishment period. I couldn't help but feel nervous for a while, but when I thought that this was in the mysterious space, I immediately felt relieved. Moreover, although the White Ape King's tone was strange, it sounded very respectful. Especially the, benevolence, at the beginning, which shows that the White Ape King has only gratitude to him, and he will never shoot himself. Xu Yufan didn't go any further, just stood where he was, half an hour passed, and the White Ape King still closed his eyes, meditating to consolidate the realm. It seems that he won't wake up in a short time, so let's go back to Qianyuanzong first. Xu Yufan shook his head and left the mysterious space. There was a ripple in the air outside, and Xu Yufan reappeared on the branch. He jumped to the ground, took out the nameplate, looked at Qian Yuanzong's direction again, and then jumped and ran with both feet. The cultivator in the Qi refining stage cannot fly in the air, and the divine sense is too weak to control the flying magical item. Except for horses and demonic beasts, they can only run with feet. This is the most embarrassing thing Xu Yufan has ever felt since he practiced. A dignified mortal, who is called a fairy, actually has to run to make his way, which is really a shame. After running for a few minutes, Xu Yufan suddenly felt something was wrong, as if there was a breath following him all the time. Are you being followed? Xu Yufan frowned, thinking about it, he felt that it was impossible. He had been in the mysterious space for so long, and anyone who followed him would be thrown off and lost his target. The aura I feel should be the cultivator nearby, and I accidentally found myself, just following behind. Xu Yufan thought so. In order to verify whether the aura behind was following him, Xu Yufan deliberately slowed down and ran slowly. However, the aura behind him still exists, and it is getting closer and closer. Ah, this is not stalking, but rather chasing. Xu Yufan's eyelids twitched, feeling a bad premonition. He stopped, restrained his breath, covered up all his own breath, found a towering tree, climbed to the top of the tree a few times, and hid himself. Xu Yufan stared intently at the direction he walked, holding his breath. About half a minute later, a Taoist figure appeared in the field of vision. This man was wearing Qianyuanzong's costume, holding a long sword, and his skills were vigorous. Um, it's him. When Xu Yufan saw the face of the visitor, 
he couldn't help being startled, showing an expression of surprise. The person who came was Qian Yuanzong's former outer sect deacon, Wang Tiana. After a few breaths, Wang Tiana jumped to the ground where Xu Yufan was just now, with a puzzled look on his face. Ha, huh, obviously I followed very closely, why did I suddenly lose my breath? Wang Tiana looked around for it. Xu Yufan looked at everything in front of him and thought to himself, it seems that this old fool is here to find me. But why did this old guy find it here? Xu Yufan pondered for a moment, then realized that Wang Tiana must have known that he had accepted the task of collecting the guts of the white ape. From Qianyuanzong to Xuanyuan Temple, the mountains in this area are the only way to pass, and Wang Tiana, an old fool, must be aware of this. So, he is here to squat on. Fortunately, I was cautious enough, otherwise I would have been squatted straight by the other party. Wang Tiana under the tree searched around, but found no trace of Xu Yufan. He stood still and thought for a while, then cursed and ran away in one direction. Xu Yufan, who was hiding on the top of the tree, didn't get down in a hurry, he just looked down motionlessly. After waiting for nearly ten minutes, he breathed a sigh of relief when he was sure Wu Yu had taken it away, and jumped down from the top of the tree. As soon as Xu Yufan's feet touched the ground, he heard a dark voice behind him. Hey, little fool, are you willing to come out? Xu Yufan turned his head to look, his brows tightened. Being so cautious, Wang Tian still plotted against this old. In fact, Wang Tiana didn't really leave just now. He saw Xu Yufan's footprints on the ground, but the person and breath were gone. He knew that the other party was hiding his breath. Due to strength and lack of divine sense, how difficult it is to find a hidden cultivator in this barren mountain. Therefore, Wang Tiana simply came up with a counter routine and directly scammed Xu Yufan out. I have to say that ginger is still old and spicy. Hey, little fool, you can really hide. If you hold on for a little longer, I'll really leave. Wang Tiana said viciously. Xu Yufan's complexion changed for a while, and his teeth itched with hatred in his heart. He didn't expect that he would be fooled by this old trick. Hey, I still don't have enough social experience, and I haven't received enough beatings. Xu Yufan complained a few words in his heart. The expression on his face changed for a while, Xu Yufan smiled and held cupped hands at Wang Tian. Senior brother Wang, long time no see, I never thought you and I would meet here, it's really fate. Who is your senior brother, you little trash, what qualifications do you have to call me a senior brother? Three years ago, you cost me a foundation establishment pill, three years of my life. Today, I will make your life worse than death. Quote. Wang Tian looked very distressed and worried, his eyes were about to burst into flames. HMPH, old man, Xu was just telling the truth at the time, you tried to kill me over and over again, do you really think I, Xu Yufan, are easy to bully? Xu Yufan was also angry, is he really a grandpa without a temper? I can't beat you, so are you still afraid of scolding? As an excellent keyboard man in the 21st century, can the keyboard man trained by the majority of netizens lose you? Wu Yu sneered, and said in a sinister tone, Hee hee, you were lucky if you didn't kill you last time. Today, you just wait for your body to be destroyed. Old and immortal, I am your ancestor. Xu Yufan shouted loudly, and stopped talking nonsense with the other party. Dantian magic power turned sharply, and with a wave of his hand, six small golden swords burst out. He knows very well that his own cultivation base is not as good as the opponent, and he can only attack one. A surprise, however, Wang Tiana is much richer than Xu Yufan in terms of combat experience, not to mention his experience in hundreds of battles. He was on guard against Xu Yufan's attack from the beginning, but now Xu Yufan suddenly violently attacked, how could he escape his perception? Little trash, let me show you what the difference is. I saw Wu Yu wave the long sword in his hand calmly, swung the long sword quickly, and slashed at the six golden sword ray. Kong Ku Ku Ku. After a burst of noise, all six golden sword rays were dissolved by Wang Tiana. Xu Yufan's current strongest blow was easily defended by Wang Tiana. Xu Yufan was not surprised. Four floors behind Wang Tiana, there is an insurmountable gap between the two. The cultivator system is like this. It is really not something ordinary people can do if they want to challenge beyond the level. I don't have enough force now, and I don't have any powerful triggers. 
It's really not easy to come back. Little waste. What other tricks are there? Use them quickly. Wang Tiana looked at Xu Yufan provocatively. Hum. Dot you old fool, you are higher than me because of your cultivation base. Xu Yufan looked at him coldly, dealing with this kind of fool, he couldn't do it by himself. If you can't beat yourself, you have to let others do it. For example, the white ape king. Seeing that Xu Yufan didn't respond to him, Wang Tiana didn't attack him, but looked suspiciously at him. Wang Tiana, who has lived for more than 50 years, has seen many people's routines, which made him too suspicious now, and he has to be careful about everything. He wanted to do it, but seeing Xu Yufan was too calm, Wang Tiana hesitated. Holding a long sword in his hand and narrowing his eyes slightly, he wanted to make sure that Xu Yufan would not have any conspiracy. Xu Yufan uses spiritual sense to detect the situation in the mysterious space, which is a magical effect he discovered recently. Even if he is outside the mysterious space, he can detect the situation in the mysterious space inside. In the mysterious space, beside the pill refining room, stood a three-meter-tall ape-shaped creature with snow-white hair. It is the white ape king who has broken through to the foundation establishment stage. At this time, the white ape king was sizing up his position, his huge eyes showed a puzzled expression. On a boulder not far away, the spirit mouse looked at it warily. Where is this? Why am I here? Where is Benefactor? This is the mood of the white ape king at this time. You're awake, I need you to stand up for me. A familiar voice sounded in the air. This is, the voice of Gong. Startled, the white ape king raised his head and saw no one. Before he could react, he felt his eyes go dark, and then the environment changed. Houses, medicine gardens, spirit mice all disappeared. It was replaced by tall trees, bare red soil, and two humans. A young man, an ugly old man. It doesn't know the ugly old man, but he doesn't look like a good person. Ah, realm is very low, only the tenth level of chi refining, and it's probably only a slap in the face if you do it yourself. Young people, or benefactors. The white ape king stood two meters away from Xu Yu Fan, which was deliberately arranged by Xu Yu Fan. Two and a half meters, even if the white ape king explodes, there is enough reaction time. It doesn't matter if you are afraid or not, the main thing is to keep a sense of distance from the white ape king. Well, that's what it means. Wang Tiana looked at the sudden appearance of the white ape, a little confused. He glanced at the white ape king, and found that he couldn't see through the beast's cultivation base. After careful perception, there was no magic power fluctuation, just like an ordinary white ape. The white ape king glanced at Wang Tiana, feeling that the old man was not a good person. Wait, he's holding a sword to Benefactor. He is the enemy of Engong. The eyes of the white ape king narrowed like copper bells. Wang Tiana was taken aback by the white ape king, isn't he just an ordinary white ape without magic power? Why is my heart trembling? Who are you? Wang Tiana looked at the white ape vigilantly, and asked a question involuntarily. After asking, I felt absurd, and I actually asked a beast. Wang Tiana grinned, um, I'm old, and I always have too many things to worry about. Bai Yuan frowned, thinking that the ugly old man was asking me. Do you want to answer? I was a little flustered, after all, it was the first time I was asked my name by a human being. I, dot dot dot, I don't have a name. Quote, the white ape king opened his mouth, his huge mouth opened and closed, his voice was a bit magnetic and a little blunt. Wang Tiana was stunned and surprised. This, this, the white ape can talk. Soon, Wang Tiana came to his senses, and he made what he believed to be the most correct decision in the past 50 years. Turn around and run away. The reason why Wang Tiana wanted to run was because in his cognition, generally demonic beasts would not speak out. Anyone who can speak human words must be a monster. What is a monster? Only demonic beasts above the golden core realm can be called monsters. In other words, only monsters above the golden core level can speak human words. I am on the tenth level of chi refining, and when I meet a talking monster, can I not run away? In the early years, when he went out with Sect's uncle, he saw a monkey talking. At that time, he remembered very clearly that the monkey was very tall, as tall as two meters, and he slapped one of his senior brothers to death with a single slap. That's the senior brother of the ninth level of chi refining, and he didn't resist. 
If the monster hadn't ignored them, I'm afraid he would have died then. Now seeing the white ape king who spouts people's words, and his eyes are obviously a bit unfriendly, can you not run away? Seeing Wang Tiana's decisive choice to escape, Xu Yufan and the white ape king glanced at each other, one man and one ape looking at each other. This ugly old man is really afraid of death, the white ape king thought. Ah, it really was the old rivers and lakes, he ran away when he sensed something was wrong, no wonder he was able to survive for so long in this cruel immortal world with such poor strength. The characteristic of human beings is to be afraid of death, Xu Yufan once again deeply realized the importance of this characteristic. You have to understand it yourself. Grandpa, what, what's going on? The white ape king asked blankly. What else can I do? Chase. Could it be possible to let him run away? Go, shoot him to death. Xu Yufan's killing intent suddenly appeared. Do you want to keep the whole body? The white ape king cast his eyes on Xu Yufan. The implication is that one slap will turn into meat paste. Xu Yufan couldn't help but shudder at the thought of the white ape king tearing up his short and thin senior brother and trampling on his tall and strong senior brother while he was still in the qi refining stage. Oh shit, so cruel, whatever. Xu Yufan tried his best to make Ohm's tone sound calm. This conversation is like an old friend who has known each other for a long time. It is good. The white ape king kicked his feet, and his huge body jumped high. Xu Yufan suddenly thought of something, finally couldn't hold back anymore, and shouted eagerly. Wait, keep the storage bag, don't smash it. If you kill people without seizing property, it is simply unreasonable. The white ape king didn't answer him because it was already tens of meters away when Xu Yufan spoke. Wang Tiana, who ran away resolutely, had already escaped hundreds of meters. It was his fastest ever. Well, that beast probably won't come after me. Wang Tiana was thinking in his heart, but he didn't dare to slacken his steps. Golden Core, blame that Zhou Guangzong for forcing himself to kill Xu Yufan. Wait, will Zhou Guangzong punish him if he didn't kill Xu Yufan? He is the most clear about Zhou Guangzong's ruthlessness. He is ruthless to others and even more ruthless to his own people. Of course, he was very gentle with himself. Wang Tiana suddenly became worried again, and his heart was covered with a thin layer of sadness. Not strong enough, hey, proper cannon fodder. But after thinking about it, the huge body of the white ape king appeared in his mind, and he came up with an idea, a monster in the golden core realm, this is a good excuse. No matter how barbarous and rude Yu Zhou Guangzong is, you won't let me, an old man in the qi refining period, face a monster in the golden core realm. Ah, why is it a bit dark? Thinking about it, Wang Tiana suddenly saw a large shadow emerging from the ground, blocking the sunlight above his head. Wait, I, why can't I move? Wang Tiana suddenly found that his hands and feet were trembling, and his body, which was running extremely fast, stopped. I was locked by a master. Wang Tiana was terrified, and just about to raise his head, he felt boundless pressure. The coercion has exceeded the strength of his body, and his body is falling apart at a speed visible to the naked eye. PFF, a mist of blood scattered in all directions. The white ape king looked down at the blood mist under his feet, and scratched his head with his huge palm. I didn't pay attention for a while, the foot is too heavy. After about 10 seconds, Xu Yufan caught up. He could smell the sickening smell of blood in the air. Frowning slightly, this white ape king, still doesn't care how serious he is. Seeing the white ape king standing there, holding a small bag between his fingernails. No Wang Tiana, no corpse, no stump. Xu Yufan asked the white ape king suspiciously, what about the old thing? The white ape pointed to the ground that was stained red by the blood mist, where is it? Um, Xu Yufan still didn't understand. Excessive force, it will be crushed into a blood mist. The white ape king said with some embarrassment. Xu Yufan, this is no bones left. There were still ashes from the cremation in the previous life, but the white ape king was lucky, he didn't even leave ashes. However, this saves trouble and saves the time to clean up the scene. As long as the storage bag isn't shattered it's fine. In fact, Xu Yufan is a lot to worry about. Although it is the lowest end storage bag, but because of its special material, it is really indestructible unless it is in a gold core environment. Grandpa, Nuo, this is a storage bag. The white ape king threw the small bag of nail pinches to Xu Yufan. 
Xu Yufan took it without checking it, and stuffed it directly into his own storage bag. Let's leave first. Qian Yuanzong's disciples often pass by this area. It would be bad if they were discovered. The White Ape King nodded without objecting. Xu Yufan was a little strange, why did the White Ape King obey him? Although I saved its life, it is not so close, and there is no sense of unfamiliarity. But it seems that this is not harmful to me, isn't it just in line with my original purpose of saving the White Ape King? Xu Yufan shook his head, shaking off these messy things. Beckoning to the White Ape King, one man and one ape quickly swept up and headed in the direction of Qian Yuanzong. Xu Yufan's speed is considered fast in the same rank segment, but in front of the demonic beasts in the foundation establishment period of White Ape King, that speed is really not missed by anyone. However, the White Ape King is also very knowledgeable, and has always maintained a side-by-side -side with Xu Yufan. To paraphrase a word, this White Ape King has a high EQ. The two ran for miles. The White Ape King suddenly stopped and turned to look behind him. Seeing this, Xu Yufan also came to a sudden stop, and asked suspiciously, what's wrong? Did something fall off? The fluffy face of the White Ape King showed a dignified expression, and said in a low voice, there are people following us. Sure enough, a gray figure flew towards them at an extremely fast speed. Xu Yufan read it right, it was flying over. The man had a flying sword under his feet, his face could not be seen clearly, and he was wearing gray clothes, which looked like Qian Yuanzong's clothes but didn't look like them. This is the boss of the foundation establishment period. Xu Yufan's face paled a lot. Why are you so unlucky? As Oh Huang not possessed yet. Seeing the foundation establishment realm boss getting closer, Xu Yufan turned to look at the white ape king. The meaning is obvious, can you do it? Do you want to run? The white ape king shook his head, but did not speak. Xu Yufan was speechless, what do you mean? Can't fight or don't escape? Can't you just talk? Can't you speak? Shaking my head and shaking my head, I don't understand what you mean, it seems that I am mentally retarded, okay. Xu Yufan complained frantically in his heart. Resist the inner desire to bring out the human qualities, and stay where you are. In a few breaths, the man has come to the front. Xu Yufan finally saw the other person's face. He lost his voice. It's you. The visitor was wearing Qian Yuanzong's inner sect costume, with a silver long sword on his feet, with a handsome face and exquisite features. The visitor obviously knew Xu Yufan too. Seeing him surprised, a smile appeared on his handsome and indifferent face, and he greeted Xu Yufan. He he, junior brother Xu, don't come here without any harm. I never expected to meet you here. The person who came was Qian Yuanzong's inner disciple, Chen Tian. It was the disciple who participated in the inner sect test with Xu Yufan. The first talent in the same session. Xu Yufan frowned, his face turned sharply, his mind was full of question marks. Why is this thing here? Isn't he in the Qi refining stage? How can he fly with a sword? Seeing the change in Xu Yufan's face, Chen Tian smiled even more intensely. Junior brother Xu, why, I don't know. Are you under? Quote. As he spoke, the silver flying sword under his feet flew towards Xu Yufan slowly. The speed was very slow, but it was indeed moving. Seeing this, the white ape king also moved, and he dodged to Xu Yufan, standing in between the two of them. A strange look flashed in Chen Tian's eyes, and with a move in his heart, the silver flying sword stopped moving forward. Xu Yufan saw that Chen Tian didn't show any hostility, but his attitude was very kind. He knew that the other party would not do anything now, so he squeezed out a smile and said. Why did senior brother Chen Tian appear here? Did he come to look for me? Chen Tian shook his head and said with a smile. No, I just happened to pass by and saw the person in front of me who looked like a junior, so I chased after him, unexpectedly it was really a junior. I believe you ghost, your mother is so far away, you are clairvoyant. Oh, that's it, it seems that my brother and I are really destined. Xu Yufan showed a false smile. That's right. During the entrance test that day, I felt that I was destined to be with my junior brother. You and I were both promoted from the outer sect, so we should be close. Chen Tian smiled brightly, showing no real emotion at all. Pretend, you just pretend to me, didn't you have your nostrils upturned that day, looking like everyone is trash? Xu Yufan sneered in his heart, such thick-skinned people are rare. Senior brother Chen, 
aren't you, not the eighth level of qi refining? Why can you control the sword? Facing Xu Yu Fan's inquiry, Chen Tian didn't hide anything. Actually, I am the foundation establishment realm, and I hid the real cultivation base that day. The answer was very straightforward, without the slightest attempt to explain. So Frank, why don't you find an excuse? Xu Yu Fan slandered in his heart. Brother, aren't you afraid that I will inform you? Xu Yu Fan asked. Chen Tian shook his head. I believe my junior will keep it secret for me. How did you see that? Xu Yu Fan raised his eyebrows. The guy's tone of voice was too beating. Well, I saw Wang Deacon on the road just now, and then I saw a little conflict between you, and then. Speaking of this, Chen Tian gave Xu Yu Fan a meaningful look and stopped talking. Sure enough, this guy saw it. Xu Yu Fan narrowed his eyes slightly, as if he was threatening himself. The white ape king beside him also heard the maliciousness in Chen Tian's tone. Immediately, the breath of foundation establishment realm was released. Chen Tian didn't seem to be under any pressure, and didn't respond to the coercion of the white ape king at all. This guy is no match for the white ape king. Xu Yu Fan gave an answer in his heart. He stepped forward and patted the white ape king on the shoulder, signaling that it was fine. Brother, what do you want? Xu Yu Fan stared at Chen Tian like a torch, and asked calmly. After the conversation just now, and Chen Tian's attitude, Xu Yu Fan could feel that the other party's purpose was not to kill him and clean up the sect, but to have other plans. Haha, ha, junior brother is indeed a smart person. Chen Tian laughed, and then said, Then senior brother will not hide it, let's not hide it from junior brother, senior brother just wants to ask junior brother to help me with a little favor. A little busy. Xiao Meng, you have made such a circle, and you are desperately mentioning Wang Tiana, this is clearly a threat, okay. I don't know what brother wants me to help. As long as I can do my best, I will naturally not refuse. However, my strength is low, far inferior to my brother's cultivation base. Xu Yufan didn't refuse, nor agreed, but just said something vaguely. Chen Tian understood the meaning of Xu Yufan's words, the implication is that my ability is limited, so don't ask for anything beyond my ability. It's a very small thing, I believe you can do it, junior brother. Chen Tian didn't take it seriously. Small what? What is Xiao Cheng? You said it. Do you still want me to guess? I guess your mother's guess. Xu Yufan gave Chen Tian a blank look, seeing that he doesn't look like such a long-winded person. It is true that people cannot be judged by their appearance. I don't know what brother is going to do next. As a last resort, Xu Yufan asked again. Junior, do you know that there is a small lake in the back mountain of Qianyuanzong? Chen Tian asked. Xu Yufan shook his head. I don't know. Chen Tian was not surprised, for this kind of disciple who just started, it's normal not to know. He explained to Xu Yufan. There is a small lake in the back mountain of Qianyuanzong. There is something buried at the bottom of the lake. I want to ask my junior brother to help me get it out. Can't senior brother pick it up in person? Xu Yufan asked. Since he just went to the bottom of the lake to get something, Xu Yufan didn't believe that he, a big boss of the foundation establishment realm, couldn't get it. Chen Tian's eyes shifted, as if he was thinking about something. After pondering for a while, the voice was a little helpless. To tell you the truth, the item was left by the ancestors of my family. For some reason, it was placed under restrictions, and no one in my family can touch it. Xu Yufan didn't understand, to be precise, he didn't understand the meaning of this sentence. He cupped his hands and said, Brother said it was something left by your ancestors, but you younger generations can't touch it. Pardon my ignorance, why is this? Quote, Chen Tian knew in his heart that if he didn't explain clearly, the other party would definitely not agree to own, so he said, thousands of years ago, my ancestors fought with others and were seriously injured. In order to continue the inheritance, before he died, he buried himself under the small lake and sealed himself, waiting for future generations to find his death place one day. Unfortunately, our ancestors were still discovered by hostile forces, but they couldn't break the seal set by our ancestors. In order not to let us find out, they added another seal. This seal is very special and has little power to ordinary people. But if it was our family, it would be like thunder. If we want to break the seal, we must rely on people from other races. Quote, 
After Chen Tian finished speaking, he showed a bit of bitterness. After Xu Yufan listened, he began to chew Chen Tian's words carefully. This is very interesting, it sounds like a lie, but it seems true. If you say Xu Yufan believes it, then you definitely don't believe it. It's so simple, thousands of years ago they asked others to help to remove it, and they still have to wait until now. Xu Yufan couldn't guess what was buried at the bottom of the lake, but it certainly wasn't some kind of inheritance. As for Chen Tian's statement that their family could not lift the seal, this may be true. Some words are the most believable when the truth is false. After careful consideration for a while, Xu Yufan made a decision in his mind. I don't know how senior brother wants me to help. Don't you say that you can break the seal by sinking to the bottom of the lake? Xu Yufan asked in a deep voice. Saying this, he has decided to agree to the condition of the other party. He killed Wang Tiana by himself and was caught. Unless he didn't return to Qianyuanzong, he would definitely not be able to get around this matter. Seeing Chen Tian's confident attitude, adding the white ape king himself probably couldn't beat him. Since I have no choice, I still want to fart, so I agree first. Besides, it's never too late to run if it's not possible. Hearing that Xu Yufan agreed, Chen Tian was very happy, naturally, it's that simple. Our clan has a treasure called the Forbidden Breaking Bead, which has miraculous effects on breaking all kinds of formations. The younger brother only needs to sink to the bottom of the lake with the Forbidden Bead in hand, and then use the bead to break the seal. I guarantee that there will be absolutely no danger. Quote. After finishing speaking, Chen Tian's swearing promise is not in danger. I believe in a hammer, you have been following me for so long, and you are threatening me with my excuses, you little cunt, I believe you are a pig. Xu Yufan cursed in his heart. Well, that's good, I'm so busy, I should help. Xu Yufan calmed down and said with a smile. Chen Tian was very satisfied with Xu Yufan's attitude, he took out a white bead from his bosom, and threw it at Xu Yufan. This is the forbidden bead, please keep it safe, don't lose it. Xu Yufan took the beads, looked at them for a while, found nothing special, and threw them into the storage bag. Junior brother, I see that your strength is still at the sixth level of qi refining. Diving into the bottom of the lake is estimated to be quite difficult. So, brother, here are some bottles of medicine pill, which can help you. When your cultivation base reaches the tenth level of qi refining, then I will go to the bottom of the back mountain and lake with you. Quote. As he spoke, Chen Tian took out three small porcelain bottles and threw them over. Xu Yufan took the small porcelain bottle, did not refuse, and thanked, thank you, brother. Pouring things for nothing, why not? Although there is a look of gratitude on the face, but the heart is full of disdain, but just a few bottles of medicine pill require me to work for you, my life is not so cheap, no. Here is a hundred middle grade spirit stones, and I will also give it to my junior brother. I hope my junior brother can help my senior brother lift the seal as soon as possible. Chen Tian took out another storage bag from his arms and threw it to Xu Yufan. 100 mid-tier spirit stones. It's a hundred bucks. Dot and mid-spirit stones. Xu Yufan took a deep breath. One mid-tier spirit stones was equal to 100 low-tier spirit stones. A hundred mid-tier spirit stones is 10,000 low-tier spirit stones. I rely on rich people. You know, the low-grade spirit stones that Qian Yuanzong gave out to the inner disciple every month was only 20 yuan. And Chen Tian got 10,000 low-grade spirit stones as soon as he made a move, Xu Yufan was distracted for a while by his wealth. It's just, inhumane. A thought suddenly popped up in Xu Yufan's mind, could it be that he hugged his thigh by chance? Ignoring Xu Yufan's wild thoughts, Chen Tian threw him a white sign again. This brand is the size of a palm, covered in snow white, a bit like ice cubes, and I don't know what material it is made of. This is the sound transmission card, I have injected my blood essence divine sense into it, you only need to inject spiritual sense or blood essence to exchange information with me. In the future, we will use the sound transmission card to communicate. If you have anything to do, send it to me through the communication card. Of course, I will also send you a message when I have something to ask you. Quote, Chen Tian explained the function of the white sign to Xu Yufan. Didn't sect issue a sound transmission card? Why not use that? Xu Yufan was puzzled. Chen Tian revealed a look of disdain. 
The sound transmission card given by Qianyuanzong can only be used in Qianyuanzong, can it be called a sound transmission card? Proper garbage. The sound transmission card I gave to my younger brother can be used normally even thousands of miles away. Quote. It can still be used thousands of miles away, this isn't at the mobile phone of the earth. Understood. Senior brother Chen. Xu Yufan nodded and put away the white sound transmission card. Okay, I still have something to do, let's go back to sect and see you later. Chen Tian smiled heartily, and without waiting for Xu Yufan to answer, the flying sword under his feet sprinted towards the sky, leading him and disappearing into the sky in a blink of an eye. Chen Tian left. Xu Yufan and the White Ape King glanced at each other without speaking. After a long time, the White Ape King said, Grandfather, he has bad intentions. Xu Yufan gave the White Ape King a blank look, you can see it, but I still can't see it. Then why don't you refuse? The White Ape King asked. Can you beat him? Xu Yufan said angrily. The White Ape King shook his head. Hey, there is no other way, my strength does not allow me to refuse. Xu Yufan sighed. The White Ape King thought for a while, and persuaded him, well, in fact, the benefactor is not at a loss. You didn't do anything, and you got a lot of benefits for nothing. This wave has earned you. Xu Yufan was stunned. The White Ape King, who was not very eloquent before, could tease people now. Xu Yufan didn't look at the medicine pill Chen Tian gave him, nor did he look at the things in Wang Tiana's storage bag. He felt that it was better to leave the place where he was wrong. Now that the European emperor is not possessed, but the African chief is possessed, he is out of luck, so he should be more careful. Anyway, there will be many things in the storage bag, and it will not be too late to go back to Qianyuanzong to check. Let's go, let's go back to Qianyuanzong and talk about it. Xu Yufan nodded to the White Ape King, said, The White Ape King didn't know where Qian Yuanzong was, but he still nodded. One man and one ape started on their way again. After running for several miles, the white ape king suddenly said, Gong Gong, don't you think this is too slow? Xu Yufan turned to look at the white ape king. Is there anything I can do? I haven't reached the foundation establishment realm yet, I can't fly, I can't control my sword, I can only use my feet. The white ape king pondered for a while, then said, I'll carry you, maybe it will be faster. Are you carrying me? Xu Yufan looked at the White Ape King, er, it is indeed possible. So, Xu Yufan climbed onto the back of the White Ape King. The White Ape King didn't need to slow down to wait for Xu Yufan, he immediately let go of his mate and jumped up wildly. Each jump is more than 10 meters away, and the speed is more than three times faster than before. Feeling the whistling wind in his ear and the up and down bumps, Xu Yufan felt uncomfortable for a while, this was too tormenting. I wanted to open my mouth to call stop, but after thinking about it, I gave up. The white ape king is running so excitedly, it's better not to disturb it. Wait. Dot why does it feel like the road is wrong? Xu Yufan looked at it carefully for a while, and was immediately frustrated. The silly white ape king went astray. No matter how fast the speed is, it is useless, and in the end you have to run again. Xu Yufan corrected the direction of the white ape king in time, but this guy seemed to be a road idiot, and he would always deviate from the route when he ran. Always have Xu Yufan correct it. Xu Yufan really wanted to slap it, and ask it, can't you remember the way? But thinking of the strength of the white ape, and the terrifying operation of tearing it with his hands and making it into a meat paste. Xu Yufan gave up, gave up challenging death's fear. After running like this for half an hour, Xu Yufan on his back stopped the white ape king. Engong, is there a problem? The white ape king asked in bewilderment. I remember that the nameplate indicated that there is a market nearby for cultivators to trade, and it just so happens that I still lack Shuehu blood essence when I refine Qi refining pills. I'll see if I can buy snow fox blood in the square market. Quote. Xu Yufan explained. That's it, let's go and have a look. The white ape king was also interested. It is still very curious about the place where humans repaired the immortal world. You are a monster, you are too eye-catching, it is better not to go, go back to the mysterious space and stay. Xu Yufan shook his head and refused. The white ape king felt that Xu Yufan was right and did not refute it. Xu Yufan pressed his palm on the white ape. On Wang's shoulder, divine sense was locked, and his mind moved. 
The white ape king disappeared immediately. Why do I have to slap myself when I enter and exit the mysterious space, but I don't need to send the white ape king in? Is this, discrimination? Quote, Xu Yufan complained silently in his heart. Sending the white ape king into the mysterious space, the magic power gathered under Xu Yufan's feet, and quickly rushed towards the trading market. When he came outside Fangxi, Xu Yufan changed into ordinary clothes, took out a black cloth to cover most of his face, and then walked into Fangxi in a big way. Xu Yufan walked into a shop specializing in selling spirit beasts. The store owner came up to welcome the customers. Fellow Taoist, what do you need? Xu Yufan took a look at the shop owner, he was a cultivator with a third level of qi refining. Do you have a snow fox? Xu Yufan asked holding his throat. That's natural, each snow fox sells for one low-grade spirit stones. I wonder how many snow foxes a fellow Taoist needs? The shop owner asked. After pondering for a while, Xu Yufan said, give me 50 snow foxes. The shop owner was surprised when he heard this, but he soon came back to his senses. Guest officer, are you sure you need 50 snow foxes? The shop owner confirmed again. Xu Yufan nodded. Well, 50 of them, kill them all for me and take their blood essence, by the way, how much is a bottle of blood essence? Xu Yufan learned from the book that these stores have the service of picking up blood essence for customers, but the bottles filled with blood essence are not free. A bottle of blood essence can be sold for one low-grade spirit stones, and a bottle of blood essence can hold 10 snow foxes. The shop owner replied. This is a medium-grade spirit stones, take it. Xu Yufan took out a piece of spirit stones from the storage bag Chen Tian gave him, and threw it to the store owner. The store owner caught it in a hurry, with an unconcealable joy on his face. Please wait a moment, fellow Taoist, I will order my servants to do it. Said and ran towards the backyard. Half an hour later, Xu Yufan walked out of the store satisfied with the 45 yuan low-grade spirit stones and 10 bottles of blood essence he had recovered. Then, Xu Yufan walked around Fangxi and bought a elixir seed. I wanted to buy some magical items, but this city is too small, and all of them are ordinary weapons used in the third and fourth layers of qi refining. It was not of much use to Xu Yufan, so he left Fangxi. One mile away from Fang City, Xu Yufan released the White Ape King, rode on the back of the White Ape King again, and one man and one ape quickly sprinted towards Qianyuanzong. Chapter 31 After a long time, outside the gate of Qianyuanzong Mountain, a young man dressed in gray sect clothing, with a handsome face and good facial features came up from the bottom of the mountain. The young man was exactly Xu Yufan after he came out of Fangxi. The white ape king raced all the way with him on his back, and the original day's journey took only half a day. Afraid of being seen by others, Xu Yufan took the white ape king into the mysterious space ten miles away from Qianyuanzong. Xu Yufan strode towards the mountain gate. The two outer sect disciples guarding the gate saw that Xu Yufan was wearing inner sect attire, and they all cupped their hands to salute, I have seen you, brother. Xu Yufan nodded towards the two of them, and walked up the mountain quickly without saying a word. Back in the inner sect, Xu Yufan went to the mission hall to deliver the mission first, and Huang Zhang was still on duty. Huang Zhang was shocked when he saw Xu Yufan take out ten white ape guts. Unexpectedly, Junior brother actually did this task. In this way, the relationship between you and senior brother Zhou may be irretrievable. Huang Zong's meaning is obvious, you kid, this time you have completely offended Zhou Guangzong, and the relationship is formally hostile. Xu Yufan smiled indifferently and said, it's okay, just pay more attention in the future. Huang Zhang looked at Xu Yufan with a complicated face. This junior brother's cultivation base is not high, but it always gives him a kind of difference from other senior brothers, and he is very human. Junior brother's task for this month has been completed, and then you only need to come to receive one task every month. Of course, if you are busy with cultivation, you can postpone it until the end of the year. But you have to come to the mission hall to register, so that you won't be punished. Quote. Huang Zhang reminded. Thank you, brother. I still have something to do, so I won't bother you. Xu Yufan cupped hands at Huang Zongyi, and was about to turn around and leave. Suddenly remembered something, and said, I have a lot of fate with the senior brother. I wonder if the senior brother can send your WeChat, ah no, leave a voice transmission divine sense. Huang Zhang did not refuse. 
Brother, give me your nameplate, and I will keep a copy of Divine Sense. Xu Yufan took out the identity tag he had just put in from the storage bag. The two left Divine Sense on each other's nameplates, and Xu Yufan returned to own a mortal cave. Now Xu Yufan doesn't dare to run around, he kills Wang Tiana by himself, Zhou Guangzong will be sure when he sees him back. You can guess the result. The inner disciple is no better than the outer sect disciple. The disciples of the outer sect are not considered to be the real disciples of the Qianyuan sect. If it doesn't matter, they will die if they die. But if it is an inner discipline, sect must be investigated. However, Xu Yufan believes that even if Zhou Guangzong knew that he killed Wang Tiana, he would not say it. After all, he sent Wang Tiana to kill Xu Yufan first. If this matter gets out, it will be detrimental to both parties, so Xu Yufan is confident that Zhou Guangzong can only smash his teeth and swallow it in his stomach this time. Back at Immortal Cave, opened the built-in restrictions, Xu Yufan raised his hand and slapped himself, and entered the mysterious space. In the mysterious space, the White Ape King is playing with the Spirit Mouse. It seems that the two demonic beasts get along quite well, and there is no bad situation where they hurt each other. Seeing Xu Yufan coming in, the White Ape King and the Spirit-Seeking Mouse rushed over. Xu Yufan smiled at them, walked to the table, took out three storage bags, and began to count the harvest this time. Xu Yufan first opened Wang Tiana's storage bag. Unexpectedly, this old thing has practiced Taoism for decades, and there are so few things. Spirit stones are all low grade, only a little over a hundred dollars. There are also two small porcelain bottles, one large and one small, both containing the medicine pill. The big one contained five small white pills. Xu Yufan poured out one and held it in his hand to observe for a while. It is a low quality qi refining pill. According to his understanding, the darker the medicine pill, the higher the quality. This white medicine pill, it is not an exaggeration to say that it is the most rubbish level. Xu Yufan shook his head. The three qi refining pills of this quality are probably not as good as the one he made with the black medicine cauldron. Putting the qi refining pill back into the porcelain bottle, Xu Yufan opened the smaller porcelain bottle again. Pour out a dark blue medicine pill the size of a peanut. Xu Yufan observed carefully and couldn't help blurting out. It's Foundation Establishment Dan. Xu Yufan had read the description in Comprehension of Comprehension, and this dark blue medicine pill was undoubtedly the Foundation Establishment. It seems that sect issued the Foundation Establishment pill to Wang Tiana, hee hee, I didn't expect that old thing to be taken, which is cheaper for me. Xu Yufan almost let out a pig cry from laughter. With Wang Tiana's qualifications, a eh? A foundation establishment pill naturally cannot make the foundation establishment successful. Xu Yufan guessed that this guy killed himself and then asked Zhou Guangzong for credit. Waiting for Zhou Guangzong to give him another foundation establishment pill, take the two together to increase the chance of foundation establishment success. The white ape king and the spirit seeking mouse couldn't help showing puzzled looks when they saw Xu Yufan smirking insanely. Xu Yufan didn't care about the two spirit beasts, and happily put away the foundation establishment Dan. He is still a long way from the tenth floor of Qi refining, but now that he has enough materials to refine Qi refining pills, he believes that he will be able to rush to the tenth floor of Qi refining in a short time. Xu Yufan rummaged on the ground again, but he didn't find anything of value again. Xu Yufan lamented that Wang Tiana, as an inner disciple of Qianyuanzong, was really poor enough. But thinking of the spirit stones and a few qi refining pills distributed every month, I feel relieved. In a small sect, all the resources are controlled by the bosses, and the disciples with low qualifications can't get good things even if they think about it. Throw the two small porcelain bottles and the spirit stones into the own storage bag, and pour out all the contents of the two storage bags of the skinny brother. These two people are much richer than Wang Tiana, and they have a lot of things. Xu Yufan took great pains to classify these items. Put useless items of low value on one side, spirit stones and the like on the other. After sorting them into categories, Xu Yufan began to calculate the obtained quantity. I was taken aback by this calculation, good guy, the short and thin senior brother is really rich. There are quite a few spirit stones alone. There are more than 20 medium grade spirit stones, plus more than 200 low-grade spirit stones, and together they are more than 50 medium-grade spirit stones. In addition to spirit stones, 
there are more than 20 qi refining pills and some messy magical items. Xu Yufan checked them one by one. Although there are many magical items, the quality is not entry level, not even the lowest low grade magical item. This disappointed Xu Yufan. Put spirit stones, medicine pill into own storage bag, and magical item sundries into another storage bag. Xu Yufan turned his attention to the two objects that were still on the ground. One was a talisman of Vajra, and the other was a token black as ink. First of all, Xu Yufan picked up the Vajra talisman, looked at it for a while, and found that its color was gray, and it looked like it was about to fail. Xu Yufan knew that this kind of talisman had a limit on the number of times it could be used. Unused talisman paper is bright in color, but once used, the color will fade. As the number of uses increases, the color of the talisman paper will become lighter and lighter until the talisman paper fails. Although the color of the Vajra talisman in front of me is dull, it has not failed, and it can obviously continue to be used. Thinking back that day, the White Ape King did not break through the defense of the Vajra talisman with all his strength, so we can see how powerful the Vajra talisman is. With this Vajra talisman, you should be able to save your life in critical moments. However, the shortcomings of this Vajra talisman are quite obvious. According to the method of the White Ape King to kill the short and thin brother, it can still shock to death the person protected by the Vajra talisman. I will use it more carefully in the future, and I can't repeat the mistakes of the short and thin brother. Putting away the Vajra talisman, Xu Yufan picked up the pitch black token, the two sides were as smooth as a mirror, without any words or patterns. What is this? Xu Yufan looked through it carefully several times, but found nothing unusual. He used divine sense to sense, and the feedback he got was that the strength was too low to detect the information inside. Xu Yufan was depressed for a while, and mocked me with a broken token, it's just natural. Throwing the black token into the storage bag, Xu Yufan finally checked out the loot. Killing three people this time can be described as a bumper harvest. As expected, murdering a killer is the best way to accumulate wealth. But there is one thing that Xu Yufan feels quite regretful about, and that is the secret technique of senior brother Gao Zhuang. He rummaged through the storage bag and couldn't find the jade slip that had recorded the cultivation technique secret. Xu Yufan could have seen it with his own eyes, Gao Zhuang, who had performed the secret technique, directly beat the White Ape King. He has also seen the ferocity of the White Ape King before, and he can beat the White Ape King, which shows the power of the ancient secret art. If you practice it by yourself, it will be of great use at critical moments. The journey of cultivating immortals pays attention to chance, and the cultivation technique cheat book is also the same. Since you haven't got it, it can only be said that the chance has not arrived. Xu Yufan just got up, the white ape. Wang's voice sounded from behind. Grandpa, what are you smirking at? The tone of the white ape king's speech became more and more standard, and the previous bluntness was completely gone. Xu Yufan couldn't help feeling goosebumps when he heard the benevolence, and suddenly remembered the story of the unresolved love affair between a shemale and a monster. Often it is the hero who saves the heroine who is a monster, and then the heroine keeps calling her, benevolence, and, Engong. Thinking of this, Xu Yufan couldn't help asking. Are you male or female? The white ape king didn't understand what Xu Yufan wanted to express, whether he simply wanted to know the gender or what. Glancing at Xu Yufan, he said with some resentment. I'm public. After hearing the white ape king's answer, Xu Yufan breathed a sigh of relief, fortunately, it's not the mother's. If a big female ape came to make a promise with her body, Xu Yufan's small body seemed to be hard to resist. Don't call me benevolent, although we are of different races, you are a demon and I am a human. But they are all cultivators, so you don't have to be polite, and we will be called fellow Taoists from now on. Quote, Xu Yufan felt that the word, En Gong, was very awkward, so he asked the White Ape King to stop calling it. However, the White Ape King disagreed. You saved my life. You are my benefactor. You should be called benefactor. Seeing the firm tone of the White Ape King, Xu Yufan knew that it would be difficult to persuade him. After careful consideration for a moment, he settled for the next best thing and said, it's not like this, there is a saying in my hometown, people who respect you are called, the boss. In the future, why don't you call me the boss? Quote. What Xu Yufan said was not unreasonable, the younger brother respected the boss. 
Upon hearing this, the white ape king thought for a while, then nodded in agreement. So, I'll call you boss from now on. After a pause, the white ape king said again, By the way, I don't know what your full name is, boss. Shu Yu Fan, Shu Yu Fan, Shu Yu Fan told the white ape king his full name, and then he asked. And you, the white ape king shook his head, I don't have a name. Um, no name, demon, isn't it strange that people have chosen human names early? Could it be that the white ape king's wisdom came too late? That's not right, if his spiritual intelligence was developed late, Chen Tian would not say that the white ape king's bloodline is extraordinary, different from ordinary white apes. Xu Yufan lowered his head and pondered for a while, then said, how about I get one for you? The white ape king's eyes lit up, and he nodded, what name will the boss give me? Xu Yufan rested his chin, thinking of the movie he watched in his previous life. Ah, Vajra, but, that's a chimpanzee, and this is a white ape, would it be wrong to call it Vajra? After thinking about it for a while, the color is not a problem, the important thing is to be domineering. Yes, just Vajra, the big deal is to add a surname, called by Vajra. Thinking of this, Shu Yufan smiled unconsciously. You'll be called Vajra from now on. Vajra. The white ape king muttered something, then lowered his head and meditated, as if savoring these two words. Okay, from now on I'll be called Vajra. The white ape stared, and shot out a beam of light, very satisfied with the name Shu Yufan gave it. Yes, it's called Vajra. In the future, I have to find a human female cultivator for dual cultivation. Shu Yufan complained in his heart. But if you think about it, it's really possible. This white ape king, ah, is Vajra. It doesn't look like an old white ape. It should be a white ape who has not been practicing for a long time. Being able to break through to the foundation establishment period in a short period of time, coupled with the extraordinary blood, the foundation establishment period will not be its limit. In the future, it will probably break through to the Golden Core environment or even the nascent soul environment. At that time, turning into a human form will not be a problem. It's not too much to hook up with a female cultivator after turning into a human form. Boss, what are you, laughing at? Vajra looked at Shu Yufan with a confused face. Only then did Shu Yufan come back to his senses, he thought too much, and even forgot the cheap little brother next to him. Fortunately, Shu Yufan has a thick skin, otherwise he would have been a social death. It's okay, just thinking of some funny past events. Shu Yufan turned his head and pretended not to care. Squeak, the spirit mouse yelled loudly, interrupting the conversation between a man and an ape. Ah, I ignored you little guy. Shu Yufan stroked the fur of the spirit mouse and said. Squeak, the spirit mouse stood up and waved its two front paws. Shu Yufan didn't understand what the spirit mouse meant, but Vajra did. Boss, it says it wants a name too. Shu Yufan showed a little surprise, he didn't expect this little guy to be so smart. Well, since I gave Vajra a name, I can't favor one over another, you will follow me in the future, just like Vajra, and call me the boss. Hum, let me think about, what to name you. Quote, Shu Yufan dragged his chin and said. Both the spirit mouse and Vajra looked expectant. After a while, Shu Yufan slapped the table. I have, I'll call you Jerry. Shu Yufan said he he and laughed. The spirit mouse's eyes lit up, obviously satisfied with the name. Jerry, the boss is really powerful, the third child, from now on you will be called Jerry. Vajra was also smiling. Jerry the mouse, I will find another dog in the future and name it Tom, ha ha, daddy is really talented. Shu Yufan slandered endlessly in his heart. After playing with one person and two animals, Shu Yufan came to the medicine garden. At this time, the color of the leaves of the Lingya grass has changed from dark green to emerald green, and the age has broken through a hundred years. While other medicinal herbs have long since stopped growing for years, apparently reaching their limit. However, the fruits of those ordinary medicinal herbs were all scattered in the medicine garden, sprouting and growing again, and the age has reached 10 years. At this time, the entire medicine garden is full of greenery and vitality. Without the slightest hesitation, Shu Yufan dug out the medicinal herbs that had stopped growing in one of the Lingya grasses. The other Lingya grass remained in the medicine garden, Shu Yufan was going to wait for it to bear fruit, and then collect the seeds. Spiritual herbs are different from regular medicinal herbs. 
ordinary medicinal herbs bear fruit, produce seeds, do not wither, and continue to grow. And the elixir is that once it bears fruit, the seeds will wither away. The spirit bud grass in the outside world usually bears fruit after five years, and after more than half a year of growth, it will gestate seeds and then wither. But the spirit bud grass in the mysterious space has reached a hundred years, and it has not yet borne fruit, which is a bit strange. However, Xu Yufan is not in urgent need right now, so he keeps one plant in the medicine garden to let it continue to grow, and see when it will bloom and bear fruit. Xu Yufan sprinkled the dozens of spirit bud grass seeds purchased in Fengxi on the medicine garden, and then turned around and entered the pill refining room. Vajra and Jerry looked curious and wanted to find out, but Xu Yufan blocked the door. The two guys can only make trouble. Although the black medicine cauldron will automatically refine the medicine pill, it is better not to let them in to prevent accidents. Follow the steps step by step. After half an hour, Xu Yufan tapped the black medicine cauldron, and the lid opened, revealing the golden inside. Can's Qi Refining Pill. This is, the ultimate Qi Refining Pill. Xu Yufan was shocked, he never expected to be able to refine the best Qi Refining Pill. The medicine pills that are usually refined are all top grade, but this time it is directly top grade. It was so surprising. It must be because of the hundred-year-old spirit bud grass that the top grade Qi Refining Pill was refined. Xu Yufan held 23 Qi Refining Pills in his hand. This time, refining the Qi Refining Pill with the bridling bud grass not only made the best Qi Refining Pill, but also increased the number a lot. It seems that this bridling bud grass is not bad to use. The smile on the corner of Xu Yufan's mouth deepened. Compared with the top grade medicine pill, the best grade medicine pill not only has 50% higher potency than the top grade medicine pill, but also has a higher conversion rate. This is just an ordinary advantage, the most insane thing is, the ultimate medicine pill can cleanse the cultivator's marrow and improve the root bone of the cultivator. Although one or two has no effect, taking it for a long time is not only harmless, but can also significantly improve one's own bone quality. It's a pity that top quality medicine pills are rare in the entire chaos continent, and a small sect like Qianyuanzong probably hasn't seen top quality medicine pills until now. Xu Yufan walked out of the pill refining room with ecstasy. The ultimate Qi refining pill, he wants to try the legendary effect. After greeting Jerry and Vajra, Xu Yufan returned to the pill refining room. Swallowing a top grade Qi refining pill, he sat down on the spot and focused on refining the power of the top quality medicine pill in his body. Half a day later, Xu Yufan opened his eyes, with excitement shining in his eyes. Unexpectedly, I actually broke through to the seventh level of qi refining. Xu Yufan muttered. Before taking the top grade medicine pill, he was already at the peak of the sixth level of qi refining. But he still didn't expect the breakthrough to be so easy. It is worthy of being the top grade medicine pill, and the effect of taking it is really not comparable to that of the top grade medicine pill. Xu Yufan sighed. After finishing speaking, he took out another top grade qi refining pill, stuffed it into his mouth, and closed his eyes to refine it again. Time flies, half a month later. In Xu Yufan's immortal cave. There was a ripple in the air, and Xu Yufan appeared in the air. After half a month of non-stop cultivation, Xu Yufan's cultivation base has reached the peak from the early stage of the seventh floor of the qi refining period. It is only one step away from the eighth floor of qi refining. Xu Yufan originally wanted to continue taking the medicine pill to practice, but recently the cultivation base has improved too fast. It has only been more than a month since he entered the inner sect, and he has raised two levels of cultivation base within two months with his seventh rank root bone. Not to mention the big bosses of Qianyuanzong, even he can see that there is something tricky. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Xu Yufan stopped practicing. The medicinal power of the top grade medicine pill is too powerful, not only makes Xu Yufan cultivation base advance by leaps and bounds, even his root aptitude has also changed. Xu Yufan himself can clearly feel that the aptitude of the root bone has improved a lot. Now, his root aptitude has at least reached the 7th rank upper rank, which is far from him. Not far from the 6th rank root. This is really heaven defying to the extreme. Fortunately, the best medicine pill was taken a week ago. At the end, the newly planted lingya grass in the centennial year has not yet reached a hundred years. 
so Xu Yufan couldn't pill refining anymore. Otherwise, he really couldn't bear to take the best qi refining pill. In the past half month, although I am in the practice of closed door training, many interesting things have happened. First of all, he killed Wang Tiana by himself, but Zhou Guangzong didn't bother him, not even his fellow disciples. Although Xu Yufan was puzzled, this was what he wanted to see. Then there are Jerry and Vajra. Xu Yufan had a whim one day and gave them qi refining pills. Unexpectedly, the effect is not bad, even better than that of human cultivator taking medicine pill. Because of the large supply of qi refining pills, Jerry's cultivation base advanced by leaps and bounds, breaking through to the fourth level of qi refining. And because Vajra has reached the foundation establishment period, the medicinal power of the qi refining pill cannot support his cultivation at all. Eating a qi refining pill may not absorb spiritual qi as quickly as meditating. The last time Xu Yufan picked the spirit bud grass, it finally bloomed and bare fruit on the third day after he picked it, and finally gave birth to more than 20 seeds. This made Xu Yufan happy for the whole day. In this way, he would no longer need to buy spirit bud grass and medicinal herbs to refine qi refining pills in the future. Pick them directly in the medicine garden if you need them, and they are all good things with a long life. Because I stopped taking qi refining pills and did not meditate to absorb spiritual qi. With the improvement of cultivation base, Wuming Zhanju became more and more powerful. Now Xu Yufan has been able to condense seven small golden swords with magic power. According to the records in the sword formula, Xu Yufan has already cultivated to the peak of the first level and is not far from the second level. The nameless sword art has a total of seven levels. According to the description of the sword art, except for the first level, every subsequent level will have a Taoist supernatural power attached. There is no record as to what kind of Taoism, supernatural power and sword art it is. Cultivation base could no longer be improved, and Zhanju also encountered a bottleneck, so Xu Yufan wanted to go to sect's treasure pavilion to find some spells, take the opportunity to practice and enhance his own strength. After leaving the immortal cave, Xu Yufan went straight to Qianyuanzong's treasure pavilion. According to the regulations of sect, all inner disciples can enter the treasure pavilion to consult and practice Taoist secret arts. However, there are restrictions. The treasure pavilion has three floors. The first layer stores the basic Taoist secrets and some incomplete Taoist secrets. The second layer stores ordinary Taoist secret arts. The last layer is to store the core Taoist secrets of Qianyuanzong. These three floors are also open to each disciple of Qianyuanzong. The inner discipline can only enter the first floor, while the core discipline can enter the first and second floors. Only Qianyuanzong disciples above the foundation establishment period can enter the third floor. Every floor of the treasure pavilion is guarded by disciples, and there is also a formation, and the only way to get in and out is by the nameplate. When I came to the treasure pavilion, there were two guards at the gate. Xu Yufan couldn't see through the cultivation base of the two, but he could easily perceive the fluctuation of the other party's magic power. He is a disciple of the Qi refining period. Two senior brothers, I want to enter the treasure pavilion to check and practice Taoism. I don't know what to do. Xu Yufan with cupped hands. Bring the identity tag. One of the guards said blankly. Xu Yufan took out his identity plate and handed it over. The guard brother took it took a look, and then scanned it with divine sense, but found no problems. Just about to throw it back to Xu Yufan, but as if remembering something, he showed a puzzled look and muttered something. Are you Xu Yufan? Xu Yufan didn't know what the other party meant, thinking that the other party was verifying whether the nameplate matched his own. He responded neither humble nor overbearing. That's right, this is Xu Yufan, I don't know what's the problem, brother. However, the guard brother just shook his head. Enter the gate, there is a formation inside, you just need to sacrifice your identity plate, by the way, with your identity, you can only enter the first floor, the second and third floors must not go, otherwise you will suffer head. The senior guard threw back the identity plate to Xu Yufan, and warned him. Thank you brother for reminding me, brother understands. Xu Yufan thanked him, passed the two guards, and stepped into the gate. Before he had gone far, he suddenly heard the whispers of the two guards. Senior brother Liu, do you know that junior brother just now? The brother guard who hadn't spoken before asked. I don't know. 
The guard brother known as Brother Lu replied in a low voice. But I've heard his name. Oh, what name? Why haven't I heard of Junior Brother? Is it because of his extraordinary aptitude? Quote, he he, of course not. Senior Brother Lu laughed. Why is that, Brother Lu, tell me quickly. It is said that the Junior Brother offended Senior Brother Zhou just now. Is it Brother Zhou Guangzong, the grandson of the head of the sect? Who else but him? The Senior Brother took a breath when he heard this, how could he offend Senior Brother Zhou, a kid at the seventh level of Qi refining? It is said that it is because of a sect mission, but I don't know the specifics. In short, after offending senior brother Joe, this junior brother Shu will be unable to move an inch in sect, and will be made things difficult everywhere. Quote. Brother Lu shook his head and sighed. Yeah, senior brother Joe is narrow-minded, Yazi must report, definitely. That junior was interrupted by senior brother Lu before he finished speaking. Shish, you don't want to die. If you dare to say such a thing, we should do our part and guard the treasure pavilion well. We should not know about other rights. Brother Lu's tone was hurried, obviously frightened by his junior brother. After hearing this, Xu Yufan frowned. It seems that most of the inner disciples who offended Zhou Guangzong knew about it. Although Zhou Guangzong didn't act now, it didn't mean he wasn't planning behind his back. It seems that I try to avoid going out as much as possible, and stay in the mysterious space to raise the cultivation base. When I reached the foundation establishment period, even if he was the grandson of the head, I didn't dare to mess around. Thinking in his mind, Xu Yufan came to the first floor door of the treasure pavilion. The bronze-colored door was closed tightly, covered with a thin halo. Xu Yufan held out the identity plate in his hand, and the halo shook for a while as if being induced, and then split open. The bronze door also creaked, and slowly opened, revealing the passage behind. Walk into the passage, walk ten steps, and come to a hall of more than ten square meters. There is nothing in the hall except a wooden table. Behind the wooden table, an old man is sitting, looking at the age. There are sixty years old. Cultivation base Shu Yufan can't see the depth, but it doesn't have the sense of terror in the foundation establishment period, it should be the tenth level of Qi refining. This senior brother, next time Shu Yufan, come to check the cultivation technique cheat book. Xu Yufan cupped hands said. The old man opened his eyes and frowned, are you Xu Yufan? Xu Yufan felt a thump in his heart and a bad premonition rose in his heart. Exactly, I don't know why senior brother asks that. Xu Yufan's face remained normal, showing no panic in his heart. He he, it's okay. The old man was silent. After a pause, the old man continued. You can go in, there is a place for the cultivation technique cheats. You can only stay in it for an hour at most, and you cannot transcribe or keep it privately. But you can choose the cultivation technique cheats to come to me for duplication, up to two copies at a time, and the duplication fee is five low-grade spirit stones. None of these can be violated. If there is a violation, you also know the consequences. Quote. Xu Yufan narrowed his eyes slightly. Although the old man didn't mean anything against him in his words, he clearly felt the other party's dislike and disdain. Presumably this old man belongs to Zhou Guangzong. But since the old man didn't make a fuss, there's no need for him to investigate further. Arching cupped hands towards the old man, Xu Yufan walked in through the door next to the old man. Through the gate, a hall appears in sight. This hall is very wide, with many lighting beads hanging on the top. There are more than ten bookshelves in the hall, each of which is neatly filled with cultivation technique cheats. There are at least hundreds of cultivation technique cheats on more than 10 bookshelves. I can't imagine that such a small Qianyuanzong has so many cultivation technique cheats. Xu Yufan sighed, it was far more than he imagined. Without stopping, Xu Yufan casually walked to a bookshelf and picked up a copy of Cultivation Technique, the cover said, Basic Cultivation. Turn to the first page. Those who practice Taoism, lead the spiritual qi of heaven and earth, gather the essence of five elements, break the bondage of heaven and earth, achieve immortality, and live forever. This is a book explaining cultivation. Xu Yufan took a few glances and stuffed it back into the bookshelf. Then I checked several books on the same bookshelf, and found that they were all about various tips and methods of cultivation. It seems that this bookshelf is not a cultivation technique secret book for cultivating spells. 
Xu Yufan shook his head and walked to another bookshelf, started to look over and over again. On this bookshelf is the entry-level cultivation technique. Although the names are different, the content overlaps a lot. After a little thought, Xu Yufan understood that these methods are the most basic cultivation technique, and most of them were cultivated during the third or fourth level of qi refining, and it is normal to have similarities. So Xu Yufan went to the next bookshelf. Time passed quickly, more than half an hour passed, Xu Yufan carefully flipped through the cultivation technique cheats on the bookshelf, but still couldn't find the spell cheats he wanted. The magic cheats here are either too low in power or have strange requirements for cultivation, which are far worse than his nameless sword formula. Xu Yufan didn't like it at all. Could it be that this so-called treasure pavilion doesn't have a spell cheat book suitable for me? When he was worrying, Xu Yufan suddenly glanced at the dark corner of the bookshelf in front of him, where there was a box. What is this? Curious, Xu Yufan walked to the bookshelf and picked up the box. This box is made of wood. Although it looks dark, it is smooth and delicate in the hand. I don't know how long it has been placed here. Xu Yufan gently opened the box, and there was a golden book inside, with three large characters, Shen Physique, written on the cover. Xu Yufan picked up the golden, divine body technique, and flipped through it. The beginning of the chapter is to explain the importance of the cultivator's body to the cultivators. This is a cultivation technique for body training. Xu Yufan read a few pages and said something to himself. Perhaps out of an instinctive reaction, Xu Yufan continued to read. After a stick of incense, Xu Yufan closed the golden book with a suspicious look on his face. This is a powerful and complete cultivation technique. From the gas refining period to the transcend tribulation period, there is nothing missing. According to the description in the book, Shen Physique has a total of 16 layers, and the first layer corresponds to the Qi refining period. Each layer in the future corresponds to a small realm. The second layer corresponds to the early stage of the foundation establishment period. The third layer corresponds to the middle stage of the foundation establishment period. Dot dot dot. By analogy, the final sixteenth layer corresponds to the late stage of the Transcend Tribulation environment. The number of cultivation layers of Shen Physique does not mean that your cultivation base will be upgraded to the second layer when it reaches the Foundation Establishment period. Rather, you can only practice the second level of Divine Physique if you have reached the early stage of the Foundation Establishment period. It is described in the cheat book that practicing Divine Body Art can increase the strength of the physical body. Every time one layer is practiced, the strength of the physical body increases exponentially. The most important thing is that, Divine Physique, has its own Taoist supernatural powers. As long as you have completed the first level of, Divinity Art, you can perform a Taoist supernatural power called, Vajra is not bad. After practicing the first level of, Divinity Art, and performing, Vajra is not bad, the physical body can withstand the full blow of an early stage of the foundation establishment period. Cultivated to the second level of divine body art and cast, Vajra is not bad, the physical body can withstand the full blow of the middle stage of the foundation establishment period. By analogy, until the 16th level of divine body art is cultivated, Vajra is not bad, will be completely integrated into the physical body, and the physical body will never be destroyed. Of course, this, divinity art, still has certain disadvantages. Every time the magical power of Taoism, Vajra is not bad, is used, all the magic power in Dantian needs to be taken away. In other words, as long as you cast, Vajra is not bad, you must not be able to carry out the next battle. Moreover, after half a stick of incense, he would fall into a coma due to weakness. Although the magic power of Dantian is halved after training to the sixth floor, the flaws still cannot be covered up. Xu Yufan thought about it carefully, and felt that the seemingly invincible, divine body technique, suddenly became not so strong. And this hasn't even mentioned the cultivation method of, divine physique. If you want to practice, divine physique, the first point is to resist blows. According to the description in the book, Practitioners are required not to impose any defense on themselves. In the case of means, practice with spirit beast or similar cultivator. In other words, get beaten. Take a beating without defense and without any magical items. Then after being beaten to death, it is necessary to meditate and absorb spiritual chi to nourish the body. 
Then he was beaten repeatedly, and then he absorbed spiritual chi to nourish his body, and this continued until he reached the first level of spiritual body art. Xu Yufan looked at the cultivation method and called it abnormal in his heart. But fortunately, such a perverted cultivation method is only what one needs to experience to reach the first level. Once you have reached the first level, you no longer need to be beaten by such a perverted training method. From the second level, you only need to inhale spiritual qi daily to nourish your body. After reading everything, Xu Yufan finally understood why the Shen physique, which was complete and capable of leapfrogging and resisting damage, was placed on the first floor of the treasure pavilion for the inner disciple to check. That is the perverted cultivation method of Shen physique. The undefended beating cannot be carried by a single person. Taking a step back, aside from defenselessness and being beaten, even if one absorbs spiritual qi every day to nourish the body, there will be no cultivator to do such stupid things. Ordinary cultivators meditate and practice, absorb spiritual qi to improve cultivation base, but the absorption of spiritual qi is slow. If one still needs to absorb spiritual qi to nourish the body, then the cultivation base cannot be improved at all. In other words, if you absorb spiritual qi to refine magic power to increase your cultivation base, then you cannot practice divine physique. Dot. If you practice spiritual body art, and the spiritual qi you absorb every day is used to cultivate your body, then your own cultivation base will not make any progress. Even if one spends half of the time cultivating divine physique, it will still slow down the progress of one's own cultivation base. Generally, the cultivators on the 10th floor have a lifespan of 120 years in the refining period, and can reach 200 years in the early stage of the foundation establishment period. Even the cultivator in the Golden Core environment only has a lifespan of 500 years. In the process of cultivation, one's own cultivation base is naturally the most important thing. There are so many cultivation techniques that enhance one's strength. Therefore, compared with its own cultivation base, Divine physique is like a tasteless existence. Xu Yufan shook his head, put the divine physique back into the wooden box, and threw it back to its original position, ready to let it continue to eat ashes. The entire first floor of the treasure pavilion was searched by Xu Yufan, but he couldn't find a suitable cultivation technique. Sure enough, it's little sect. Xu Yufan muttered, went directly to the bookshelf where the spiritual herbs were placed took a copy of complete collection of spiritual herbs from above, turned around and walked outside. Halfway, suddenly turned around and folded back. Xu Yufan walked quickly to the wooden box, sucked it with one hand, and grasped the wooden box containing the divinity body technique in his hand. Then he strode out of the first floor of the treasure pavilion. Xu Yufan doesn't dare to upgrade the cultivation base now, it's just right for him to cultivate this divine physique. If it can be cultivated well, it is the best, but if it cannot be cultivated, then it does not matter. Coming to the door, Xu Yufan put two books on the wooden table. Senior brother, I have already found the cultivation technique cheat book, please make a copy of it. While talking, Xu Yufan took out ten low-tier spirit stones from the storage bag and put them on the table. The old man raised his head, glanced at Xu Yufan, and said with a smile, I'm sorry, junior brother Shu, it's twenty low-grade spirit stones. Shu Yufan frowned. Didn't the brother just say that five low-grade spirit stones are needed for dubbing? Duplicate two copies below, isn't it exactly ten spirit stones together? Quote. That's right, Mr. Zhang said it just now, but your situation is special, so, you have to double it. The old man surnamed Zhang still looked at Shu Yufan with a smile. However, there are countless murderous intentions hidden in this smile. Xu Yufan's face darkened, my situation is special. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm afraid Zhou Guangzong ordered you to make things difficult for me. Brother, what are you saying, are you making things difficult for me? Or are you blackmailing me? Xu Yufan said coldly. Anyway, the other party's purpose is impure, so he just made it clear. Ha <laughs> ha, you are not qualified to be blackmailed by me because you are a seventh rank trash. I'm not afraid to tell you that I, Zhang Yang, are just making things difficult for you. Quote. Zhang Yang's arrogance suddenly burst out. Xu Yufan smiled strangely and said. Hey, old man, did you set the double dubbing fee yourself or someone behind you? How dare you violate the sect's rules? 
It seems that you are going to revise my Qianyuanzong sect rules. Quote. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Yang's hairs immediately stood on end, that's right, he didn't expect this just now. Immediately, cold sweat broke out on Zhang Yang's forehead. If this matter got to the upper echelons, Zhang Yang would definitely have no good fruit to eat. Dog, how dare you make things difficult for me? Are you worthy? Xu Yufan snapped. Zhang Yang's face turned red, but he didn't know how to refute. Give you a chance to copy these two copies for me. Zhang Yang's face became even more ugly, unexpectedly, he fell into the hands of a brat. Just as he was about to admit defeat and record for Xu Yufan, an idea suddenly flashed in his mind, and he immediately had a new method. Sorry, the jade slip used for dubbing is gone, I can't dub today, please come back tomorrow. Zhang Yang's face turned from cloudy to clear, as if he was determined to accept you. Xu Yufan narrowed his eyes slightly, revealing murderous intent from his eyes. You sure, Xu Yufan said solemnly. Zhang Yang was frightened by Xu Yufan's eyes and took a few steps back. Xu Yufan, are you going to violate the door rules? Zhang Yang asked nervously. At this moment, he seems to have forgotten that his own cultivation base is three floors higher than Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan, I said that Jade Slip will be gone if it's gone, is it possible that you still want to kill me? Or the cultivation technique that is going to grab the treasure house? Quote. The previous panic quickly disappeared, and was replaced by a look of confidence. To Zhang Yang's surprise, Xu Yufan did not commit any difficulties. Instead, he changed his previous aggressive attitude, showed a gentle smile, and said to Zhang Yang. No, since senior brother Zhang said that there is no blank jade slip, then the junior brother will naturally not make things difficult for senior brother. All right, let's put these two books back in the treasure pavilion. Quote. After speaking, without waiting for Zhang Yang to make a move, he grabbed the wooden box and, complete collection of spiritual herbs, on the wooden table, turned and stepped into the treasure pavilion. Zhang Yang who was still in a daze was left behind. Xu Yufan returned to the hall on the first floor of the treasure pavilion. He did not continue to entangle with Zhang Yang because he was afraid, but because he had a way to punish Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang, as the guard of the treasure pavilion assigned by sect, said that there is no blank jade slip. From the door regulations, there is really no loophole. Therefore, it is impossible for Xu Yufan to kill Zhang Yang and do something against the rules of the sect. In this case, it is better to punish him in other ways. Xu Yufan didn't put the two items in his hand back on the bookshelf, but moved the wooden box and the spiritual herbs encyclopedia into the mysterious space. Then Xu Yufan started the harvesting operation. He quickly shuttled through the bookshelves, grabbed the cultivation technique cheats on the bookshelves and threw them into the mysterious space. Of course, Xu Yufan didn't put all the cultivation technique cheats into the mysterious space, but took a dozen of them from each bookshelf. Xu Yufan originally wanted to collect all the cultivation technique cheats on the first floor of the treasure pavilion into the mysterious space. But if you measure it carefully, there are too many cultivation technique cheats here, and the mysterious space cannot fit. Secondly, if the treasure pavilion is emptied, I will definitely not be able to break away from the relationship. That's why Xu Yufan took more than 10 books from each shelf. In this way, if you don't count carefully, you won't find it. When I found out, it must have been a period of time, and I would not be able to relate to myself at that time. Soon Xu Yufan took hundreds of cultivation technique cheats from the entire first floor of the treasure pavilion. Clapping the dust off his hands, Xu Yufan nodded in satisfaction, turned around and walked out of the hall of the treasure pavilion. Brother Zhang, come back in a few days, and I hope you have a blank jade slip copy by then. Xu Yufan smiled all over his face and spoke very kindly. Zhang Yang didn't want to check Xu Yufan's storage bag. Stealing cultivation technique cheats is impossible due to the restrictions in the treasure pavilion. That's natural, junior brother Xu walked slowly. Zhang Yang also showed a hypocritical smile. However, there was a sneer in his heart. Xu Yufan left the treasure pavilion with his head held high. Trash, you still want to re-record it. You offended senior brother Zhou. You will never be able to re-record the cultivation technique cheat book of Zhangbao Pavilion in your life. Looking at Xu Yufan's back, Zhang Yang cursed viciously. After leaving the treasure pavilion building, 
Shu Yufan greeted the two gatekeepers and went straight back to Immortal Cave. Without too much stay in Immortal Cave, Shu Yufan entered the mysterious space. Boss, something is wrong. It started to rain strangely, and some thick things fell down, almost smashing me and Jerry to death. As soon as Shu Yufan appeared in the mysterious space, Vajra yelled loudly. Jerry stood on Vajra's shoulder, barking his teeth. Hey, it's not that it's raining strangely, it's my boss who brought some good things for you to see. Shu Yufan laughed. At this time, the mysterious space is several square meters wider than before, and the space looks slightly larger. Ah, what good stuff. Vajra suddenly became interested. Jerry jumped from Vajra's shoulder to Shu Yufan's shoulder, screaming, GG. Shu Yufan grabbed a copy of Cultivation Technique and showed them. Cultivation Technique Cheats. Vajra looked at the words above, confused. Cultivation Technique Cheat. Jerry's mouse eyes widened, showing the same puzzled expression. Ah, forgot they were illiterate. It was only then that Shu Yufan remembered that these two spirit beasts had never read books. Forget it, you don't understand anymore. When I have time, I will teach you how to read. Vajra and Jerry run away dismissively. Shu Yufan shook his head helplessly, looking at a pile of cultivation technique cheats in front of him, he thought about making a bookshelf to display them. It just so happened that there was still extra wood in the mysterious space, so Shu Yufan did not hesitate, took the wood and started to work hard. After two sticks of incense, a four-story bookshelf was born in the hands of Shu Yufan. Although the workmanship is rough, it is very strong. Say hello to Vajra, let him place the cultivation technique cheats with him. After arranging all the cultivation technique cheats neatly, Shu Yufan took out the divine body technique in the wooden box and began to study it. By the afternoon, Shu Yufan had already memorized Shen Physique from beginning to end. Putting the divinity technique back into the wooden box, Shu Yufan yelled at Vajra who was still meditating. Xiao Jin, come here and give me a punch. Vajra is stunned. Jerry was dumbfounded. Crooked. Boss has a fever. Vajra jumped up and came to Shu Yufan, stretched out his palm and touched Shu Yufan's forehead. I'm not sick. Vajra muttered suspiciously. You are sick, and your whole family is sick. Shu Yufan was furious. Old. Big. I'm an orphan. Quote. Vajra said something quietly. Shu Yufan almost spat out a mouthful of old blood. You, what an orphan you are. What I mean is that I want to cultivate my physical body, you come and punch me, let me exercise the strength of my physical body. Shu Yufan explained, thought for a while, and then reminded, pay attention, don't shoot me into a pulp. Vajra's cultivation base is the foundation establishment realm, which is far more powerful than a human cultivator. If it slaps him with all his strength, he may not die on the spot, but become flesh on the spot, and the sparks will be saved. Real, Vajra couldn't believe it, certainly. Before he could finish speaking, Shu Yufan saw Vajra's huge palm clapping over, and then his whole body flew out. Boom, Shu Yufan fell heavily on the ground, his whole body seemed to be falling apart. Seeing Shu Yufan lay motionless on the ground, he didn't even make a sound. Vajra was shocked, and Jerry also showed anxiety. Boss, are you okay? The two spirit beasts ran to Shu Yufan's side, squatted down and prepared to turn Shu Yufan over. No. Don't move, break, break. Shu Yufan's voice came out. Vajra quickly stopped his movements. Shu Yufan was lying on the ground, the severe pain made it difficult for him to speak. Can I say hello before I start? Shu Yufan wanted to cry but had no tears. Wait, am I beaten to death now? Thinking of this, Shu Yufan closed his eyes, sank into Dantian, and began to absorb spiritual chi to nourish his body. Spiritual chi burst into the meridians from the pores of the whole body, and Shu Yufan diffused these spiritual chi into the muscles of the body according to the cultivation method of divine body technique. Immediately, Shu Yufan felt a sense of refreshment, and the pain on his body also reduced a little. Haha, it really works. Shu Yufan put away his mind and absorbed spiritual chi to nourish his body with all his strength. Two hours later, Shu Yufan opened his eyes and got up from the ground. The injury on my body has finally recovered. Shu Yufan cursed. But the culprit at this time, Vajra, was sleeping with Jerry. Shu Yufan jumped over and slapped Vajra awake. Sleep, wake up. No, get up and practice against me. 
Vajra shuddered and sat up straight away. Seeing his boss alive and kicking, he immediately showed joy. Boss, are you all right? Whatever I can do, I'm talking about tempering the body, come on, let's continue. Shu Yu Fan said. It is good. As soon as Vajra said the words, he slapped him. Just like two hours ago, Shu Yu Fan was patted lying on the ground again, his whole body falling apart. Orphan Vajra, can you get the boss ready? In Shu Yu Fan's mind, 10,000 muddy horses galloped past. With the previous experience, Vajra didn't look at the own boss, he tilted his head, fell down, and continued to sleep soundly. For the next half month, Shu Yu Fan stayed in the mysterious space to practice divinity art. Repeat the half death shot by Vajra every day, and then use spiritual chi to nourish the body. After more than half a month of inhuman treatment, Shu Yu Fan finally practiced the divine body art to the first level. Ha ha, I, Shu Yu Fan, have finally reached the first level, and I will never have to be slapped by that orphan Vajra again. This day Shu Yu Fan was refining chi refining pills in the pill refining room, and suddenly felt a throbbing in his heart. He knew that someone from the outside world was looking for him. So, he slapped himself and appeared in his immortal cave. Shu Yu Fan opened the immortal cave's restrictions, walked out, and a middle-aged cultivator stood outside the door. When Shu Yu Fan sensed it, his face changed drastically. This turned out to be a sect senior from the foundation establishment period. Disciple Shu Yu Fan, I have met the senior. Shu Yu Fan cupped hands said respectfully. Because he has no master, he can only be called a senior. The middle-aged cultivator had a gloomy face and asked coldly. You are Shu Yu Fan. Shu Yu Fan's heart skipped a beat. Could it be that the matter of the treasure pavilion was revealed? Thinking of this, I couldn't help feeling nervous. There is absolutely nothing good about a foundation establishment senior coming in person. Shu Yu Fan lowered his head and said slowly, The disciple is exactly Shu Yu Fan. Very well, I have a sect task for you to do. The middle aged cultivator's tone was very tough, not a question, but an order. Shu Yu Fan's heart changed sharply. He was relieved to hear that it wasn't the cultivation technique cheat book of Kangbao Pavilion, but when he heard that it was a middle aged cultivator who asked him to do a task, he immediately became vigilant again. I don't know what task the senior asked the disciple to do. The disciple still doesn't know which elder in the sect the senior is. Forgive the disciple for being rude. Shu Yu Fan raised his head and said with a gesture of sincerity. HMPH, little inner disciple, you still dare to play tricks with me, you're just asking for it. The middle-aged cultivator snorted coldly, and a powerful coercion spread. Shu Yu Fan suddenly felt boundless pressure, the blood chi in his body twitched, and the magic power directly scurry in his body. PFF, Shu Yu Fan's throat was sweet, and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Shu Yu Fan now understands that this middle-aged cultivator. Bad. Kneel down. The middle-aged cultivator yelled, and the coercion increased again. Shu Yu Fan suddenly felt that there was a mountain on his shoulders. No, how could I, Shu Yu Fan, kneel down to you a piece of trash? Shu Yu Fan gritted his teeth, running with all his might, resisting the coercion of the middle-aged cultivator. Sweat poured down from his forehead, his whole body was shaking, and blood kept flowing out of his mouth. But even so, Shu Yu Fan didn't even kneel down, he didn't even bend his knees. The middle-aged cultivator showed surprise on his face, he didn't expect that a mere seven-story waist could resist his coercion. Hee <laughs> hee, is this how the senior treats the sect disciples? Do you feel blush for oppressing the disciples like this? Shu Yu Fan squeezed out a sentence between his teeth. HMPH, I'm just teaching my disciples who don't know etiquette, how can I bully you? The middle-aged cultivator snorted coldly and added more strength. It doesn't make sense, which eye of yours sees that I don't know how to be polite. You don't want to face a dog, but you can turn black and white. Shu Yu Fan tried his best to fight against the middle-aged cultivator, and he was not polite at all. The other party has shot at him, so there is no need to be polite to him. Asshole, if you dare to speak rudely, I will kill you right now. The middle-aged cultivator was furious, and stretched out a hand, about to slap Shu Yu Fan. Dog, I'm afraid you won't succeed. Shu Yu Fan's eyes were bloodshot, he let out a loud shout, and the Dantian magic power was running, ready to perform the newly realized, Vajra is not bad. Just then, a voice sounded. Uncle Cheng, 
what are the rules for you to kill the inner disciple like this? The middle-aged cultivator was startled, stopped the big hand that was shooting out, and turned to look at the source of the sound. Xu Yufan also stopped casting, Vajra is not bad, and turned to look at the person coming. It's you, a junior. The middle-aged cultivator said with some surprise. Brother Lin, why are you here? Xu Yufan blurted out. It was Lin Dekong who came. He had just left customs and failed in the foundation establishment period, feeling depressed, so he thought of coming to Xu Yufan for a drink to relieve his depression. Unexpectedly, seeing Chang Kui going to kill Xu Yufan from a long distance away, he didn't care about offending Chang Kui, so he hurriedly stopped him. Lin Dekong came between the two, facing Chang Kui, cupped hands. Salute. Disciple Lin Dekong has met Uncle Chang. Chang Kui looked at Lin Dekong coldly, and said in a bad tone, Nephew Lin, do you want to intervene in this matter? Lin Dekong's face changed, and he said in a panic, Don't dare, sect stipulates that no one is allowed to kill sect disciples without permission. The situation was urgent just now, when the nephew saw the uncle making a move, he was afraid that the uncle would be overwhelmed by anger and violate the rules of the house, so he had to remind the uncle Chang. Quote, what Lin Dekong said was well-founded, leaving Chang Kui speechless. Okay, he he, it seems that I have to thank my nephew. Chang Kui laughed back angrily. Master's words are serious, this is what a nephew should do. Lin Dekong still looked good for you. HMPH, Chang Kui's face turned red, but he didn't know how to answer the words, so he snorted heavily. Xu Yufan looked at Lin Dekong in surprise, he didn't expect his senior brother to be so eloquent. However, Lin Dekong was also very nervous, far less relaxed than on the surface. Seeing that Chang Kui did not continue to attack, he was relieved. Uncle Chang, let the matter be considered by the nephew, if you think about poking it at the head of the sect, it will delay the cultivation of the uncle. The entire Qianyuanzong knew that Master Uncle Chang was the most generous-hearted, so it would be better to spare junior brother Lin once. Quote, Lin Dekong continued to speak with his cupped hands bent and bowed his head. It was a threat as soon as he opened his mouth, and then he threw a high hat in the past. Chang Kui narrowed his eyes slightly, looking at Lin Dekong, his murderous intent was almost in his throat. But he can't really do it, not to mention the school rules, even the person behind Lin Dekong can't kill himself, nephew Lin. What Lin Dekong said was right, if this matter got to the head of the house, he would not be able to please him. Although I am the head of the sect, there are still a lot of elders, who are all competitors of the head. Not to mention the punishment, the position of deacon in the mission hall under his ass will definitely be lost. In this way, the unlucky one is himself. After figuring this out, Cheng Kui had no choice but to reluctantly walk down the steps given by Lin Dekong. Okay, judging from nephew Lin's face, the Japanese deacon will be merciful today and will not pursue it anymore. Cheng Kui's mouth is generous, but in his heart he has already killed Xu Yufan and Lin Dekong a thousand times in front of him. Master Uncle Cheng is indeed an elder who can pull a boat on his belly. Lin Dekong smiled and flattered. Xu Yufan remained sullen, speechless. Okay, now that this matter is over, let's continue to talk about business. Afterwards, Cheng Kui straightened his face and said, Xu Yufan, sect has an urgent task for you to deal with. What urgent task? HMPH, you want to take the opportunity to kill me in sect. Xu Yufan didn't salute with cupped hands, and replied coldly directly. Sorry, junior breakthrough is coming soon, it is not suitable to travel far, please senior find someone else. Anyway, I have already torn my face, so there is no need to pretend. However, Cheng Kui showed a sinister smile. Hee hee, it's not up to you, according to the regulations of sect, this deacon has the right to assign tasks to inner disciples who haven't completed the monthly tasks. As far as I know, your monthly tasks have not been completed this month. Quote. After speaking, he looked at Xu Yufan with a playful face. Xu Yufan looked at Lin Dekong, who nodded helplessly. Sect does have such a regulation, but it is also limited, that is, assigning tasks must not exceed the ability of the assignee. During the general gas refining period, no more than C-level tasks can be assigned. HMPH, tell me, what is the urgent task? Xu Yufan asked coldly. Thousands of miles away from our Qianyuanzong, 
there is a valley, and in the valley lives a family of cultivators, which is a subsidiary force of our Qianyuanzong. Just two days ago, that Shoxian family was wiped out by a group of monster monkeys who became spirits, so I sent you to kill those monster monkeys to avoid harming ordinary people. Quote. Chang Kui spoke out the content of the task. A family cultivating immortals was exterminated, and you sent me, a Qi refining seventh level disciple, to wipe them out. Xu Yu Fan's face was gloomy, and he replied mockingly, Cheng Deacon is easy to calculate, a family of cultivators has been exterminated, you send me to die. Lin Dekong also frowned, he didn't expect Cheng Kui to be so bold that he would scheme against Xu Yu Fan openly. Cheng Kui was not angry either, and said with a smile, he he, Xu Yu Fan, this deacon is not that kind of person. Those monster monkeys are only at the fourth or fifth level of qi refining, and your cultivation base has reached the seventh level of qi refining. Kill those animals are just a matter of raising hands. If you don't believe me, check out the quest jade slip for yourself. Quote. After speaking, Cheng Kui took out a jade slip and threw it to Xu Yu Fan. Xu Yu Fan took it, and Divine Sense poked into the jade slip to examine it carefully. After a dozen or so breaths, Xu Yu Fan withdrew his Divine Sense. The tasks recorded on jade slip are indeed. It is to eliminate monster monkeys, the above description is similar to what Cheng Kui said. The task classification is only C level. This meant that Cheng Kui did not lie to him, and it was within the scope of his rights to assign tasks to him. Okay. I'll take over this task. Xu Yu Fan pondered for a while, then nodded in agreement. Although he knew that things were not that simple, he couldn't refuse. Hee <laughs> hee, then I wish you good luck and be able to complete the task safely. After Cheng Kui finished speaking, without saying hello, he threw a flying sword and flew away with the flying sword. After Cheng Kui left, Xu Yu Fan turned to Lin Dekong with a cupped hand and said, Thank you brother Lin for saving the siege just now, otherwise I am afraid I will be killed by Cheng Kui. Lin Dekong waved his hand, not caring, junior brother is serious, there is no need to talk between you and me. Then, his face changed, and he said worriedly, I'm afraid this matter is not that simple, what do you think, junior brother Xu? Xu Yu Fan glanced at Lin Dekong, and said quietly, what can I think, why don't you ask Yuan Fang what to think? Yuan Fang. Lin Dekong looked at Xu Yufan suspiciously. Who is Yuan Fang? Xu Yufan coughed twice in embarrassment and quickly changed the subject. Ahem, senior brother Lin, let's talk about how you got out of customs. Aren't you hitting the foundation establishment period? How did you get out? Hearing Xu Yufan's question, Lin Dekong's face immediately collapsed with a dejected look on his face. Hey, brother, I failed to break through to the foundation establishment period, and the impact failed. This, Xu Yu Fan was at a loss for words for a moment, Lin Dekong's aptitude is not bad, his root aptitude is the peak of 6th rank, close to 5th rank. Xu Yu Fan couldn't help but feel melancholy after two foundation establishment phases with such qualifications failed. Okay, let's not talk about this, I wanted to drink with you to relieve my boredom, but after the trouble just now, I'm not in the mood to drink. Moreover, the younger brother is still preparing to eliminate the monster monkeys. I still go back to meditate and practice, and try to break through to the foundation establishment period next time. Quote. Lin Dekong shook his head, looking depressed. Senior brother Lin, please sit in a mortal cave, brother Lin, don't worry about the monster monkey. Xu Yu Fan said quickly. No. I'd better wait for the younger brother to wipe out the monster monkey and come back to drink. Lin Dekong said, turned around and strode away. Xu Yu Fan opened his mouth, watching Lin Dekong go away with a complicated mood. After Lin Dekong left, Xu Yu Fan returned to a mortal cave. Just about to enter the mysterious space, I saw a figure appearing in the immortal cave. Xu Yu Fan a radical. Ling, the heart beat wildly. Why, is junior brother Xu so nervous when he sees me? The figure turned around, looked at Xu Yu Fan with a smile and said. Senior brother Chen, you, how did you get in? Xu Yu Fan asked with wide-eyed eyes. It was Chen Tian who came. Such small restrictions can't stop me. Chen Tian said disdainfully. Xu Yu Fan's heart was beating wildly again, who on earth was the other party who was able to pass through the arranged restrictions without making a sound. 
Fortunately, I didn't enter the mysterious space just now, otherwise I would be discovered by Chen Tian, then I would really die without knowing how. After a while, Xu Yufan calmed down and asked, Senior Brother Chen, what do you want me to do? It's nothing, I just came to tell Junior Brother Xu a news. What news? It's about the mission you just accepted. As far as I know, the monster monkeys who killed the Shoxian family are far above the third or fourth level of qi refining. Quote, Xu Yufan raised his eyebrows. Are you saying that the information on Jade Slip is all wrong? Well, the cultivation base of those spirit monkeys has at least the sixth level of qi refining, and the leader is about to break through qi refining and reach the foundation establishment stage. Chen Tian nodded. Hearing this, Xu Yufan frowned, it really wasn't that simple. This is not a class C task at all, let alone that I can complete it, it is a trick set by Zhou Guangzong. Murderous intent flashed in Xu Yufan's eyes. Chen Tian nodded again. That's right, you still have some brains. With your cultivation base on the seventh level of qi refining, you will definitely die if you go there. Zhou Guangzong of the Dog Day, Daddy will definitely tear him into pieces. Xu Yufan gritted his teeth and said, You'd better think about how to pass this level. Chen Tian was hit in the head. Senior brother Chen, there must be other reasons for you to tell me this news, right? Are you going with me or are you secretly helping to deal with the monster monkeys? Xu Yufan is full of anticipation. Excuse me, I really just told you the news briefly. You won't help me. That's not necessary. If I die, who will go to the bottom of the lake to break the restrictions for you? I can find someone else. Xu Yufan. Chen Tian stayed for a while and then left. He had nothing but to bring this news to Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan wanted to blackmail a few more magical items, but Chen Tian refused directly. The reason is, this is a test before diving into the bottom of the lake, if you die, you are dead. Not long after Chen Tian left, Xu Yufan also came out from the Immortal Cave, left Sect directly, and ran towards the valley following the direction directed by Jade Slip. Although he knew the true strength of the demon monkey from Chen Tian, Xu Yufan didn't panic. Not to mention that there is Vajra in the mysterious space, even the divine body art that I just practiced with the addition of Vajra is not bad, can also ensure that I am safe and sound. Three days later, outside Zongjagu, Xu Yufan looked towards the direction of the valley from an extremely tall ancient tree. They came all the way without encountering any danger. Apparently, Zhou Guangzong and Cheng Kui didn't arrange for someone to intercept and kill Xu Yufan on the way. They knew the true strength of the monster monkey, so from the beginning they believed that Xu Yufan would die in the hands of the monster monkey. But they don't know Xu Yufan's strength, and they don't know that there is a white ape king in the foundation establishment period in the mysterious space. Xu Yufan observed a stick of incense outside the valley, but found nothing unusual, everything was as calm as water. However, there was a gray mist shrouded in front of the valley, and with both eyes, it was impossible to see the situation behind the mist. Presumably this mist is a maze arranged by the immortal cultivator family. According to the quest Jade Slip, the exterminated Shoxian family, that is, the Zhang family, is located in the center of the valley, and it can be seen from the entrance of the valley about 20 to 30 meters away. Go ahead and have a look. Quote, Xu Yufan said to himself, jumped off the big tree, and jumped into the valley. As soon as he stepped into the valley, Xu Yufan was stunned by the scene in front of him. What caught the eye was no longer a gray area, but a bright forest instead. Sure enough, as Xu Yufan expected, the mist outside is fake, a barrier, a barrier that conceals people's eyes and ears. Although the scenery was beautiful, Xu Yufan was not in the mood to appreciate it anyway. Task Jade Slip said that 30 meters straight is Zhang's lair. The distance of 30 meters is not far. If there is no obstruction in the straight line, it can be seen clearly at a glance. But there are many trees here, exotic flowers and plants, and all kinds of huge stones are growing in a mess. This also directly blocked Xu Yufan's line of sight, making him unable to see clearly. Xu Yufan Divine Sense was released, covering a radius of more than 10 meters. No magic power fluctuations were found. The cultivator divine sense in the qi refining stage is mostly poor, and being able to cover a radius of more than 10 meters is already considered a strong divine sense. Xu Yu, while probing, Fan walked forward cautiously. 
Although Chen Tian gave him a thorough explanation of the monster monkey's strength, Xu Yufan was still very cautious just to be on the safe side. There are too many accidents on the road of cultivating immortals, if you want to go long, you can only be extremely careful. Xu Yufan was about 20 meters away when he suddenly felt a force fluctuation, and at the same time, he heard a creaking sound in front of him. Xu Yufan's face darkened, and he immediately found a bigger tree and jumped on it. With the help of the high point, I looked in the direction of the sound. Just eight or nine meters ahead, a large group of monkeys were jumping up and down, having a great time. Xu Yufan roughly counted, there were 20 monkeys in that group before, and the cultivation base was on the fifth or sixth level of qi refining. After looking for a while, no other demonic beasts were found, and the monkey king with the highest cultivation base was not there either. Xu Yufan didn't hesitate anymore, he jumped directly from the big tree, and as soon as he hit the ground, he used his legs hard, jumped forward, and rushed towards the group of monkeys. The monster monkeys in front saw the movement here, and immediately stopped playing and playing, and all ran towards Xu Yufan. Some run on the ground, and some climb trees. After a while, the demon monkey and Xu Yufan drew closer. The group of monstrous monkeys lost their IQ, they dispersed, and then gathered together to surround Xu Yufan. Dozens of monkeys chirped non-stop, so loud that Xu Yufan almost became deaf. Xu Yufan didn't bother with these monster monkeys, his face turned cold, and as soon as he raised his hand, seven golden sword rays shot towards the group of monster monkeys. This group of monster monkeys are not ordinary wild monkeys, but monkey spirits of the fifth or sixth level of qi refining. Although they didn't have magic spells, they reacted extremely quickly, jumping up and down and avoiding them. Only two moved a little slower, pierced through the body by the golden sword, and died on the spot. Squeak. The monster monkey group opened their teeth and claws, seeing their companion killed by Xu Yufan, the hostility in their hearts burst out. Before Xu Yufan hit the second wave of small golden sword rays, they attacked Xu Yufan one after another. The monkeys were very fast, and the monkey who made the first move was in front of Xu Yufan in the blink of an eye. Squeak. The monkey bared its teeth and claws, bared its teeth, and slapped Xu Yufan. Court death, Xu Yufan shouted loudly, and all the monkeys present trembled inexplicably, their hands. Zong's movements stopped abruptly. As soon as the words fell, Xu Yufan moved, leaving an original image on the spot, and instantly dodged the blow of the monster monkey. He stretched out his palm and slapped the fastest monster monkey on the head. Boom! The monster monkey's head exploded immediately, the white brain burst open, and the blood and brain matter splattered wildly. Before the monster monkey could even scream, it was slapped to death by Xu Yufan's palm. The degree of cruelty and blood is comparable to the cut part of the movie. Having completed the first level of divine physique, Xu Yufan far surpassed the cultivator of the same realm in terms of physical strength, physical speed, and physical strength. The slap he gave just now, even a cultivator who is like him at the seventh level of qi refining, might not be able to bear it. However, seeing this, the other monster monkeys were not frightened, but were stimulated by the smell of blood and became even crazier. Xu Yufan didn't have the slightest worry in his heart, these monster monkeys were fast and not weak in attack power, but they didn't feel any pressure at all. Xu Yu strode towards the group of monkeys like a wolf into a herd of sheep, wantonly killing them. With a slap of the palm, the monster monkey's body jumped away, blood and flesh splattered. With one punch, it went straight through the monster monkey's body, leaving a big hole. The flash of the golden sword ray directly took away the lives of several monster monkeys. Facing Xu Yu Fan, the monster monkey group had no power to resist and was directly crushed. Perhaps due to the influence of Vajra, the corpses of those monster monkeys were all missing arms and legs, and their bodies were broken, and none of them could keep the whole body. The degree of brutality is even higher than that of Vajra. Not long after, the whole valley was bleeding, and monkey corpses were everywhere. These monster monkeys don't know why, most of their own companions were beheaded, but none of them escaped. The harder Xu Yu Fan killed, the harder they charged. In just one stick of incense, none of the more than 20 monster monkeys was alive, and they were all slaughtered by Xu Yu Fan, or became headless corpses, or turned into broken limbs, or turned into blood holes. They all lay quietly on the ground and slept forever. Xu Yufan's long black hair has been dyed crimson, 
like an ancient monster, with killing intent filling the entire valley. It seems that he is not a human being at this time, but a god of killing, the god of killing who wiped out everything. Hiss. At this moment, a high-pitched and exciting roar came from the depths of the valley. Xu Yufan looked up. Before the owner who made the call came, a powerful coercion had arrived. Foundation establishment period. Xu Yufan's complexion changed drastically. Isn't it said that the highest is the monkey king on the tenth floor of Qi Refining? How come there is a demonic beasts from cultivation base in foundation establishment period? Could it be that other demonic beasts have appeared? Xu Yufan didn't have time to think, and with a thought, he pulled Vajra out. Boss, what's the matter? As soon as Vajra finished speaking, his expression changed, and he immediately stood in front of Xu Yufan. A powerful and unparalleled breath was released and charged towards the oncoming unknown coercion. Clap clap, the two streams of energy collided together, making a crackling sound. Then it exploded. Vajra's breath was stagnant, and it was obvious that he had received a lot of shock. And that unknown coercion also shrank back. Boss, the opponent's strength is no less than mine, so be careful. Vajra didn't look back, and reminded Xu Yufan in a deep voice. Is it the Monkey King? Xu Yufan asked. This breath is very similar to the corpse lying on the ground, it should be. Vajra nodded. At this time, it had already seen the corpses all over the ground, and its view of the boss couldn't help but change. It turns out that the boss is a cultivator who is more tyrannical than me. Xu Yufan didn't pay attention to Vajra, but cursed Chen Tian in his heart. Chen Tian, who is a dog day, half of the news he revealed to himself was false. If he knew that the Monkey King was in the Foundation Establishment period, he would definitely have to make a lot of preparations, so now he can only rely on Vajra. Just when Xu Yufan scolded Chen Tian for being immoral in his heart, Vajra said something in a low voice. Coming. Sure enough, a black shadow rushed from the front at an extremely fast speed. A demon is a demon, and after foundation establishment, we still move forward on four legs. Xu Yufan complained in his heart, then silently took out the Vajra talisman and stuck it on his chest. Boss, don't waste this Vajra talisman, just watch from behind, I will protect you. Vajra said domineeringly to Xu Yufan. Xu Yufan felt reasonable and was about to put the Vajra talisman back into the storage bag. Just then, the shadow had arrived, and a hairy fist slammed into Vajra. Well done. Vajra stared angrily, and also punched out. Boom. The air burst. Vajra flew upside down. The shadow was only retreated a few meters away. Xu Yufan's complexion changed drastically, Vajra seemed unable to beat him. Immediately, without thinking too much, he stuck the Vajra talisman on his chest with a speed that could not cover his ears. As soon as Xu Yufan activated the Vajra talisman, the Monkey King's attack arrived. Boom, Xu Yufan felt as if he had been hit by a car, and flew upside down, rolling over and over on the ground. Although he had the Vajra talisman, he was still dizzy from the shock and vomited blood. It's too strong. Xu Yufan couldn't react at all, let alone resist. Is this the strength of the Foundation Establishment Realm monster? It was indeed terrifying. Fortunately, I didn't listen to Vajra's words. If I put away the Vajra talisman, I'm afraid I'm a pile of rotten meat now. The Monkey King didn't pursue, presumably out of disdain. Xu Yufan climbed up, he was sent flying farther by the Monkey King, Vajra just went backwards, and he was sent flying. At this time, Vajra was 10 meters ahead, and he had already stood firm, looking as if he was facing a big enemy. Xu Yufan followed Vajra's gaze and saw a monkey spirit about 2 meters tall standing where Xu Yufan was just now. The monkey's hair was blood red all over, and its eyes were sharp, showing bursts of fierce light. Around it, a faint blood red aura could be clearly seen circulating. Is this the monkey king? It's really fierce, Xu Yufan murmured to himself. Without too many words, Vajra narrowed his eyes, kicked his feet, and threw himself at the Monkey King. A mocking look flashed in the Monkey King's eyes, and he punched him calmly. Boom, there was another explosion. Vajra bounced back, and the Monkey King moved only a few steps. This monkey is so strong. Vajra dropped his tingling arm and said. Ah, the implication is that you can't beat it. Want to run? Xu Yufan asked. Tasks are important, but life is even more important. 
If it is dead, there is a fart sect task. No, I want to try again. Vajra shook his head, proud that he would not give up easily. Shu Yufan didn't say anything. His current cultivation base is not as good as Vajra, and this battle was originally based on Vajra. He is a little rookie on the seventh floor of Chi Refining, the Monkey King stretched out a. A single finger could crush him to death. The Monkey King didn't attack, just looked at Shu Yufan and Vajra quietly. At this time, a voice suddenly sounded. Oh, demonic beasts who can talk during the Foundation Establishment period. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems that I have met a good pet. A beautiful woman in a white dress appeared beside the Monkey King. Shu Yufan's pupils constricted, why is there a cultivator? Vajra looked at the young woman who appeared warily. The woman was very beautiful, her skin was as fair as snow, her figure was uneven, her eyes were very beautiful, full of spiritual chi, one couldn't help but be addicted to it. The dress she was wearing was also extremely revealing, perfectly outlining her curves, which made people feel refreshed, and the long jade legs of the dual cultivation were also extremely charming, making people have an urge to hug her in their arms. However, her expression looked extremely happy, and she looked at Vajra with a look full of pampering. Little ape, you don't have to try, with your current strength, you can't beat me, the monkey king. Hurry up and catch it, and become the fairy's pet, just to be a companion with the little monkey. Quote. The beautiful woman laughed, Shu Yufan was stunned. Xiao Jin, she has taken a fancy to you and wants to borrow a seed from you. Vajra was furious, he stepped forward. Humble human being, you are not worthy of letting me be your pet, and this dead monkey spirit, who can't speak a word, is a piece of trash, let's see how I torture and kill you. Roar, after finishing speaking, he looked up to the sky and let out a long roar, and then a surprising scene appeared. Vajra is beginning to grow rapidly and thicken at a speed that is difficult to distinguish with the naked eye. The legs are longer and thicker, the arms are longer and thicker. Shu Yufan stared blankly at this sudden change. The beautiful woman and the monkey king on the opposite side also changed from disdainful to dignified at the beginning. Just now, the monkey king and Vajra had confronted each other twice, and both of them knew each other's strength. Now, Vajra has suddenly undergone a change, which is definitely not only because the body is getting bigger, but also the strength will also become stronger. Soon, Vajra's entire body almost doubled in size, and the aura emitted was more than twice as strong as before. Hey, little monkey, let's make gestures again. Vajra chuckled, showing a cold and arrogant smile. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.